I had a good week last week up to now. And um, thank you all for all the new experiences you're going to tell us and people you've met and what was the, the reaction. But before we start with the version, can we please just bow our heads in prayer? Puli, I want to ask you to pray for us. Just silent. <clears throat> um, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for your kindness and your love. We are grateful for your presence in our lives and we are grateful even for your protection um, for us to get here. You have promised in your word. And so, Lord, we clean on your promises. We thankful that you've been with us even until now. Father, as we begin this training, even with the devotion, we ask that your presence may be with us. Father, with everyone that is present, we pray that you may teach us because you've said in your word that your spirit, when the spirit of truth has come, he will lead us into all truth. And so, Lord, we are claiming that promise in Jesus' name. Be with us, speak to our hearts and minds. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I want to talk about faith this morning. Coming towards the conference, <clears throat> I listened to one of the Afrikaans um, stations, radio stations, and they had a debate on faith. Mm. But I could see the 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 the, the way the world sees faith is completely different from what the Bible says about faith. Completely. Like they talk about two churches, one in uh, Croatia, the other one in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And they are praying that the Lord must help Russia, the guys in Russia, <laughs> and the people in Ukraine uh, they pray that God must help them. Mm -hmm but they are in the same belief. Mm. <laughs> now, the question that the lady who was taking this thing was, where's God now? On which side mm. is he? And I thought by myself, but that's the wrong question. God doesn't take sides. Mm. Isn't that so? Because he's God. Why must he take sides? Why must he be in this portion and in that portion? No. But then they've got professors of a church in South Africa who was talking and debate this small um, scenario. Mm. And I could, yeah, hey. You know, people think God is a little fairy. Mm. You know what's a fairy? Mm. The two fairy. People told you when you were a child, you take out your tooth. Hey, the tooth fairy is going to give you money. Yeah. Remember those stories. Mm. And it was your dad who was a tooth fairy, <laughs> not Lord. No. Oh, there was no fairy. <laughs> yes. So, and I thought this is, and you know, they are highly educated people. What do they teach for congregation? What do they teach for them? And uh, now they say God must take. Now the church people in both sides of these congregations are start leaving the church. Mm. They say, where is God? God is not on our side. Let's go. Now, immediately my mind went to Daniel's three friends. Who are they? Shadrach? When they stood in front of the king, they said to the king, we can't bow in front of you and in front of that statue. But if my father in heaven, it's free translation now, won't take us through that fire. We will still obey, uh, obey him. Is that faith? 
Even if we die, sorry, we can't do it. And we know the story. They heat that phone, that, that earnest seven times more. They throw these three young people inside. And even with some of the soldiers who pushed them in, they died. Mm. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> now, stop me. That God took sides, that mm. he takes sides. Mm. No, he didn't. Those people who wanted to push the free Hebrews into that furnace, did they have the choice? Mm -hmm. the yes. People who pushed them in. They pushed it in. Mm -hmm. Even if a king told them, you do that, they you still got the choice. To, do, to obey the king. To obey that or that. Remember the story there. Do you got the choice? Sometimes God asks us to go and do things. And what do we sometimes say? Mm. No. And when the consequences come, mm. and when who we blame me? God. We blame God. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and I wonder how many those soldiers who died, it's not in the Bible written, it's not in Alan White written, but... If you study, sometimes your mind goes. What did those wife, wife and children say mm. of those soldiers who died? Mm. It can be one of two things. Mm. Who is this God? Mm. Mm. Or they can say, what a bad God is this? Mm. They've got a choice. Mm. But they could see the results. There was three pushed in, but suddenly there was a fourth one with mm. What happened to them? They stand in that fire. Mm. Now, if I was those three Hebrews, the king shout to them, come out. Mm. You know what I would have said? What would you have said? Come in. <laughs> It's hot yet. It's dry. I like that. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> Come and join. Me. Come and join. Oh. You know why? Because God is here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I don't want to go out. Yeah. Hey. Hey, this is just on a lighter matter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But they got out. And let me tell you, I don't think those three Hebrews mm. just say, thank you, Lord, and they out. Nice. When that king called them out, they looked at the fourth person and they say, what is your next command? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> they didn't listen to the king. Mm. Should they, we go? <laughs> they listened to the, the fourth Lord. person. Hey. And who was that fourth person? Jesus. Jesus. Now, the Lord says, Emmanuel. What does Emmanuel mean? Mm. God with us. Only in the furnace? Mm -hmm. every, every second? Mm. Every day. Now, come on. <laughs> How much proof do we need? Mm. How much Proof do we need? I'm busy with great controversy. Mm -hmm. When they put those people on fire, mm -hmm. I never, ever read. You know, I've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there. I saw that. saw all those places. Mm -hmm. And never, even in the history there, mm -hmm. on the walls, mm -hmm. they say those people were praising God mm. while the flames are start up. coming up and mm. drove him away. So we've got the history. Mm. I've got great controversy. Mm. And great controversy says to me, they didn't scream. Mm. 
Okay, let's let's pause the video there. What happened with Noah in the ark mm -hmm. when that time of probation closed? And the people who was not in the ark, how did they approach now the ark? By screaming, mm -hmm. crying, mm -hmm. and opening, and they were afraid. Now, what does faith give us? What does faith give us? Calm and peace. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pully. Calm and peace. And that is what Jesus is telling us. I'll give you peace like you never understand. Isn't that lovely? Does this make sense now? So we not we you know listen we know times are gonna get worse in the world. So the faith those three Hebrews had. If I die, I'll die in the arms of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus had that same faith. Mm. In Gethsemane, he says, Father, if it is your will, mm. let this cup pass. All right? Now, where is Jesus today? Mm. In the right hand side. Mm. Will we see the three Hebrews one day in heaven? Mm. Yes, we'll see them. We'll talk about Abraham. Mm. We're talking about people with faith. Listen, was he a holy man? Mm. Abraham, come, you must talk to me. Mm. He made a lot of mistakes. Mm. Isn't that so? Just like all of us. No. And didn't that give you hope? Mm. Mm. Didn't that give us hope? Mm. Because the Lord told him, I'm going to bless you. You will have a son. But as the woman comes, she says, hey, I'm getting old. Mm. You must take your servant. Mm. You see, Eve, she says, no, man, this food looks good. I'll eat it, I'll give it to my husband. Hey. I'm joking. <laughs> All right? Mm. So what I'm talking here is they, they both, in all cases, they both messed up. Mm. They didn't trust God. You see, to have no faith, because we breaking that relationship with God. Mm -hmm. That is sin. Sin is to break away with our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Sins is what is going to happen if I break my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I don't want to talk to you guys in that way now. We're talking about faith. Then, I wonder, and I just want you to think about this. If I listen and wait for God, and Sarah became pregnant, and he didn't sleep with his um, mm. servant, do you think God would have given him the test to go and slaughter mm. his son? Something to think about. Mm. Why did God ask him to offer this Isaac? Mm. Why? He was proving in faith, trying him. But also... Um, yeah, you can talk. He was, uh, it was to, to try his faith, but also, isn't Isaac was representing how um, Jesus. Jesus was going to? So, yeah, could be. you see, Jesus, the, the, God knows everything. Mm. He knew that the, what they can let you. Mm. They knew. Mm. But there's a double side. The one is the spiritual side, but the other one. Mm. The most precious thing mm. of Abram 
was his son Isaac. Mm-hmm. And God asked him, Are you willing to put that on the altar? Mm-hmm. God knew the outcome. Mm-hmm. But did Abraham know the outcome? Mm-hmm. He thought, Okay, I'm going to listen now to God. Mm-hmm. God will, if I slaughter him, God will bring him back. Mm. Or God will bring something. Mm. He's got the escape route. Mm. All right? But for who was that test? For Abraham. Mm. Not for God. Mm. God already knew the outcome. Mm. Now, sometimes people become in difficult situations. And what is to do? Why do we get in difficult situations? All right. Why do you think we get in difficult situations? It's also like uh, interested. Mm. Amen. That we can see ourselves. Mm. If things don't go our way, do we complain easy? Mm. We do. <laughs> I do very quickly. Mm. I sit in this traffic for nearly <laughs> hour and a half, nearly two hours to come here. The first thing I say to God, God, why? <laughs> we complain. Mm. And you know, I sit here and God in the car and I Lord says to me, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I had to say yet to the Lord in my car, sorry. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. And you know what? Alan White says we're going to be tested till we overcome. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Till I overcome that. Mm. Guys, you've got the Alan G. White on your tablets. You've got that app. You've Mm. got that app on your phone. Um, for I, you've got who's got smartphones? Mm-hmm. All the all of us. <clears throat> Ask your children to put on that app. There's a book called Our High, Our High Calling. Mm-hmm. Are you seeing if you've got the book? Let me read that book. <clears throat> this month, it was talking about you know the steppies from heaven to earth. Mm-hmm. My sister, it mm. rocked me. Mm. You know what? Alan G. White does this. It's a spirit, the fruit of a spirit. Mm. How are we going to climb that lead? Those steppies, patience. Mm. If, we, if we have faith, we must have patience. Mm. <clears throat> Love. Love. Is the whole thing of the kingdom of God. Mm. It's love. But in faith, we can get that from the Holy Spirit. Mm. And that is what I want to close. My brethren, it's not faith that's going to bless you all the time and you're going to sell millions of books. Mm. God is going to walk a path with you. Mm. And with me. Mm. And let's follow in those mm. footsteps. Mm. And let's trust God mm. in everything He's doing. And we will come out on top. Mm. Moses is one of the biggest faith. Mm. And where is Moses today? Mm. In heaven. Mm. But because of faith. Mm. and it's a relationship with God. And you know, both of them, we were talking about Abraham, Mm. Isaac, we're talking about Joseph. Mm. They were types of Christ. Mm. Joseph said, Moses, Moses, Moses Moses says, Lord, take my name Mm. out of the book of life. Mm. But spare your people. Mm-hmm. 
That's faith. Mm-hmm. That's a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. There's so much that we can talk. These mm-hmm. books of Hebrews, our Sabbath school that we went through, was so wonderful for me. Mm-hmm. Sure. Brother, will you pray for us in closing? Mm-hmm. And I would to pull in now. <clears throat> would, you, would you like to sit here? I can leave. But if you want to move, you can. But I'm fine here. Okay. I should just skip this. So, um, are we not starting with your question? Are you asking what happened, what we did, what we didn't do? I was asked you to. Do that. I was glad you're going to ask. <laughs> Tell me, you know? now she's right. <laughs> um, what happened to your little books? Me, I never sold one. But I just write my details on a piece of paper and make sure I deliver to everything. Okay, so you were giving it back as free literature. Okay, but you didn't let any feedback yet. Okay, my brother? Okay, me also, I think I'm in the same situation with me. Um, but I've got feedback. Yes, I've got feedback because uh, I went to the school. Uh, uh, one town in Johannesburg. Which one? The um the, the church. What do you call it? <clears throat> the, the one next to Faraday. It's called uh, City Kids. Oh yeah, yeah, City, City Kids. Kids. So okay. I, I, I went there and then I, first of all I gave one book to the teacher. Mm-hmm. And and she said, she looked at me and said, Do you have a message for, for from God from up on high for me? <laughs> Why are you choosing me among all these? I said, no, I bought the gifts for all of you. Wow. But I will give it to you tomorrow. I said, please bring them. Then I have to give it away, all of them. I'm okay. only left with four now. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right. Now it is for that school. Now we must think a way of quickly, are you going to follow up? Yes. By asking him, did you read those books? And what, what do you find what was interesting? For right, even those you were giving out, follow them up and say, do you've got any questions? If I say yes, say, I've got a nice book for you. Mm. Which one? Bible reading for the family. Mm. Bible, the one, the soft one. Yeah. Um, what is it? Bible God's answers. answers. Yes. God's answers. Yes. Mm. You sell him a book. Mm. Yes. You see, you follow up now and say, if you've got more questions, I've got this book, God's Answers. Mm. She, she took my number. And she she said did? She's, yeah, she's going to call me because she will need more books. Nice. She want the book about marriage. So. That's Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. You see what that little book was, eh? Yeah. Door, Door opener. opener. For sure. Mm. You, Okay, your church or okay. Okay. 
also buy these small books. Yes. Yes. Someone said she wanted these books. That's right. Wow. Okay. But you're going to sell it to her? Yes. Yeah. Don't give it away, sell it to her. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My sister be at the back? I sold all my books. <laughs> you sold all of them? Um, congratulations. One of them is me or Alice. Yeah, hope. Great hope. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's something on hope, yeah. Mm. So she, she found parenting, she found a parenting um, chapter in my book. As yet. <laughs> There's that uh, double page thing on how to write a good account. Uh -huh. mm. So I took it every day and I said, like this, don't have the money. And, and, and so I said to her, there's a printer, make a copy, make two copies for your son and for yourself. You just need this so that he has the most what he needs to do and you have it to know what you do. I like that one. She didn't take her over hook. Mm. I like that one. <laughs> she says, if you got the money, mm. uh, you're going to need this book. Yes. I'm bringing you with book. Yeah. Did you ask her when would she have the money? Hundred mm. percent, man. I like the way you feel. Yeah, it is not always to make money. That's true. It is mm. to get the books into the house. Yes. But remember, if you give something just for free, mm. Ellen White is very strict on that. She says the people won't get the value. Yeah. I'd like you to repeat what you say. Okay, so you must always get selling things to people. If people get things for free, they don't get the, they don't get the value really of that book. Mm. And then they just say, ah, it's for free. <laughs> I mean, listen, I've done this um, at Rustenburg and I'm going to do this to this group as well. I believe. Mm -hmm. Junk mail. You know what is junk mail? Is that mail they put in your box? At, what do you do with that mail? Where at your flat? <laughs> you, you always get advertising material, mm -hmm. but it's there in your box. Do you ever look at that? <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. We, we all got that sometimes, never. What do you do with that stuff? Take it out. <laughs> That's why we call it junk mail. Hey. But do you know, if you really maybe look there, you maybe get a big um, bargain. Mm, but because it was for free, we don't took the value. That is how the mind works. We, we, we just, ah, it's for free. Mm. So even 
You know what? Um, let me just stop here quickly mm. before we start. Salvation, is that for free? Mm. No. No. Yeah. We always say it is, ne? Yeah. But not. There was a price paid for that. Yes. And that was the blood yeah. of a creator of heaven and earth. Mm. So it was giving freely to us. Mm. <laughs> but if I don't accept that, I'm going to pay a price. Mm. Sure. High Remember price. that. Yeah. If I, it's freely given to me. But if I don't accept that, I'm going to pay a price one day. Mm -hmm. So, let's go back to this thing. Is it for free? No. Somebody paid for it, and if I don't accept it, I'm going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So, make up your mind and say to your mind, make that mind shift. Mm -hmm. Nothing is for, for free. free. So don't give your books. And listen, if we're giving people just free stuff, I like what you did, my sister, we had back. It's just to get, you put another bait out. So you put pop the first time on the wool, remember? But now you put some lilies on there with a pop. And you told her, you're going to buy these. I'm just helping you. I like mm. that. I like sure. that. Mm. Yeah, I, I think yo, you know this work is just amazing you keep learning all the time and it opens the mind really it to, does because if, if you think about it what, whatever whatever is eventually done it is supposed to actually lead us to the homes of people and I think that's the that's actually the first thing I'm trying to get um, Leah to check if she can if she can okay, see to, the, to okay. this thing. All right. But I haven't. Leah, if you can hear me, just type a message to say you can see the, um, the what you screen. call it, the screen. Just type a message to confirm. So, so I was saying that like, like um, Elder Paul, we've been talking about schools for ages. And so for you to actually now go to a school and do that, it's like you're already, you're opening the way. And ask her how we do, we've done schools, ask her how we've done. It's so much like people really, really get excited. And I think this first, today we are on page um, 80, 57, 50, what page is it? 58, 58 in your, in your manuals. The very first paragraph, more than 1,000 will soon be converted in one day, most of whom will trace their convictions to the reading of our publications. That's, that's so true. That's a powerful, and, and I think we are actually, okay, that's fine. She confirms that she can see. That's actually something that is... Um, that is true over and over again, because when you, when you, I was talking to Baba Kumalo, because we, we, there's schools around him in, in Job, we don't know what has been done there and so forth. So we're just going to try one school and so on. So I was saying the fact that you already now have a contact in the school, mm -hmm. you can then share your prospectus. This is what we're doing in other schools. And it's not a lie because you will be talking for the team. This mm -hmm. is what we are doing in other schools. Yeah. We come in, we make available what, 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 whether it's for the teachers, for the library, for the parents, it's something that we're doing. So that, that open door, um, that, that um, book was used to open that door. When you talk about your, your neighbors, you put in the neighbors, mm -hmm. in, in the neighbors' boxes and so forth you'll be able to now check what is their need and, and so forth, because now they've seen that you are interested. Whether they read or they don't, I was telling her, whether people read the book now or not, we won't know, and it's none of our business. Somebody else who comes into the home is the one that might read, and they might read at some point, 
but you have done what you have moved into their home. So this thousand, more than a thousand, will soon be converted in one day. You never know. You go to a place um, where they invite you, whether it's a school. How many people did we see at that honey, honey pot? Like a lot of people. So, and if we give each one something or if they get something, we are actually getting the message into the homes of the many people that we, and, and I believe that it can be, I mean, move from one place to another. It can be, <laughs> it made me think, you know, last week we were saying 50 people a day. Yes. It's actually 10 homes. Did, yes. did you see that? Yeah. And, and I thought, okay, maybe we could actually let the, the guys know each home might have five people, might have four people, might have three people. So you see a lot of people. And say, for example, they use that book for their devotion or whatever mm. it is. You really, so many people, each of us has placed a book somewhere. A lot of people are getting converted to the truth without us even knowing it. So God is faithful. God is faithful. And, and really, the press is a power, second paragraph. But if its, pro if its products fall dead for want of men who will execute plans mm. <laughs> to widely circulate them, then what's the point? Because you, you see, there's, there's many, if you look at the, 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 the lesson books, I think Yanni has told us about that. The lesson books that we buy in our, in our homes the quarterlies, I don't know what you call them. We call them quarterlies. Yes, Lesson quarterlies, books. Quarterlies, yeah. Yeah. They sit in our homes. Like when we finish, what do we do with them? They sit in our homes forever. This is what this is talking about. If its products fall dead for want of men who execute plans to widely circulate them, then the power is lost. Because it means that it's sitting there and no one is actually... Um, using them, no one is reading them, no one is. So I guess this is a challenge. We need to extend the light that is in our books um, by whatever means that the Lord places on us. And none of us will be will, will say, if you heard Yan, he didn't condemn any of us for what we did, any of you for what was done with the books. Did he? Because he knows, and it says in, a, in our training manuals in corporate ministry, each one of us, the spirit of God speaks to each, each one of us in different ways. The way he's, he does um, his canvassing, the way I do my canvassing, mm -hmm. it, it is something that we can share. But according to your personalities, each one of you, God will be able to use you to say, do it this way, do it that way, do it that way. What has worked for me may not necessarily work for you. Maybe what will work is what the Lord shows you. So each one of us needs to just go on and actually send the books out into the thousands of families that now sit in the darkness of error. That's what it says then. Yes. And, and look, there's many people that are sitting with uh, in darkness. And really, if we honestly look at it, we don't want to, or, or, or are we happy seeing people <laughs> sitting in error when we know the truth, when we have all of these things? Do, do you need a blanket? Is, is a blanket there? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -mm. It's left here. Okay. So, um, yeah, we must carry the publications to the people. And what's that word there? What's the next word? We must, the third paragraph, we must carry the publications to the people and do what? Urge them. <laughs> I found that interesting. Urge them to accept. So, so we, we're not really, I don't think urge is the same as force. No, no. It's what she did. <laughs> um, that was, you know, the Holy Spirit works. Eh? Yeah, amazing. Um, mm. That is what she said. Mm. She, she gave that lady that book. Mm. She went and she says, all right, she couldn't mind. Then mm. she says, all right, just two photo stats. Yes. But when you got the money, you must buy the book. Yes. So I like you're urging. That. Yeah, urging, urging her. her to. I like that. Oh, I tell you, God is amazing. So urge them to accept, showing them that they'll receive much more than their money's worth. Oh, you know, you, can I come in? Yes, yeah. yes, by all means. You know, that is why I ask you guys, take a book, 
read it, mm. use it. Mm. Mm. Because if, if I'm going to tell you a, a, a sales speech mm. on how to sell the Bible stories, mm. 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 you know, all you're going to do is you're going to copy me. Oh, yes. And you know your canvas become stereo. Mm. But if you use the Bible story set in your house, mm. you will say, maybe, you know, Lord, I want to take one and ten. Volume one and volume ten today. Tomorrow, maybe, I need to put number seven in my case as well. Mm. It's because you're going to pick up some stories there eh? mm. and think that you can use and I will still give you a demo before we finish mm -hmm. on the Bible story set. Amen. Mm. Because if a person by the Bible story set, mm. he's got all our beliefs. Hey. You, you gave him the truth. Yeah. There's nothing else more. But you use our books, Desire of Ages. Mm. You know, you read that book and you can tell people there's a savior. Mm. Um, I've put on the alley group. Did, who do I have to look at that? Today? Yes, mm -mm. that video. Before there's a video today, no, If you've got time, mm. there's a nice video mm. on, a, on a lady who received, she's a Hindu, mm. who received a Bible. It's amazing mm. what happened into that family. Mm. Amazing. Even a mom and dad yeah. is baptized in a Christian belief. Yeah. But I don't want to run it up. Mm. Um, you see, somebody made an effort. Mm. Mm. Somebody made an effort. Mm. And said, <clears throat> give her a Bible. Mm. And she read it. And she got converted to Christ. Mm. And then she found her husband. She was a young man, a young lady, and she taught him about, and he con got converted. Mm. And the mom and the dad was against them. Mm. But eventually, they got, but you must awesome. listen to the story. It's not long, mm. it's five mm. minutes. Mm. It was a testimony, what she did. Wow. It is unbelievable, and I see to myself the power of God. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's amazing. And true, to mm. urge him to show them that they will receive much more oh, than man. So, mm. how can I tell you what is this book worth mm. if I don't know what is in it? Yes. How can I tell you? You know, if you go to people today mm. and you tell them, come to Christ, mm. especially young people, mm. they will tell you what's in for me. Yeah. Why must I come to Christ? Mm. What, what's in for me? Mm. Because there were so many Christians giving a bad example. Yes, yes. Mm. And if I don't know Christ, how can I sell Christ? Mm. I can't. Mm. Okay, and same with yeah. the book. Mm. Sure. And, and I think with the, the reading uh, of the book, you somehow just get to, because it will start working for you. Amen. You'll be able to say, listen, I've used this. this I've, I've used this and it has, look at this. You can actually then refer to a page that you, you Amen. Know, that, that is powerful because then they, they know, hey, this is a different salesperson. It's mm -hmm. not just a salesperson. It is really, yeah, it's powerful to use our books. So anyway, um, yeah, we, we, when we talk of urging and receiving more than, that they will receive more than their money's worth, I think that is something that we know um, can only work if we know the worth of um, the book ourselves, if we, if we know like its worth. Because you'll be able to say, you know, I, I've, I've enjoyed training with Yanni. The way... If, if you look at, say, for example, um, the health books, any of the health books, it's like you're having a doctor. That's more one. He says, and he really opened my mind. 
that book is written your your health in your hands you know your health in your hands the mm. the, the the thin one that book is the contributions they are with like from how many doctors if you just open the face mm. <laughs> just yeah. so many doctors and and if you if you if you just think about it do you ever see many doctors at once mm. and they are with you in the home through that book because they've all contributed to to that book you're not just thinking about it and they you actually consulting with them yes yes they giving you consult how much is consultation when you go to the doctor ah, that book is how much 150 so you will be able to say guys it, this i told some i tried it just after i heard you i said to this lady she she was helping me send books of in in pick and pay and i said to her this is what we do and and oh books and i said yes yes how much is consultation when you go to the doctor it says yo no it's, it's that book is only 150 no no now i see and and i thought okay so this thing is actually and it is true it open is the true. mind yo sure, it really so it is something that you can use it is some, because it is true the, yes. the the principles that we get there and that's lifestyle isn't it yes. it's a new start yes lifestyle principles which we ourselves are supposed to live and that's why we're saying if you read the book that you are selling you it will convict you first isn't it? and then you'll be able to speak convincingly to somebody look here i am trying to exercise and the things for me personally the things that i i am battling with i actually mentioned look exercise is not all the time that i'm doing this and i'm working towards it and so because i'm trying to do my best i can only extend my help to you as well let's try together mm. all of us need help yeah, amen. you know so uh, i'm i'm I, you know all the time i'm getting in love with this work and it's just yeah god god is amazing mm. so anyway we when we go down it's just the definition of terms ne when we look at and this is just a general uh, um thing a cell is no is a normal transfer of title or ownership and so forth of good service idea from one person to another sales person is a person who actually brings about the transaction mm-hmm. yeah, the mm-hmm. the transfer of the two salesmanship is the ability to convince or persuade people to buy or better goods property ideas whatever it is according to what will suit best suit the person the other person that you're trying to convince according to how it was with their needs and so yeah i liked the the next portion the, the important factors in selling on our side okay the producer on our side no we're not talking about this the producer of this <laughs> the producer of the book yes the publishing house ne the publishing house what comes out the product that comes out is actually the book or the magazine mm, that's it the salesman then becomes us the literature evangelist and obviously the market is the people have you seen how wide our market is guys i know it's it's just it is amazing and everywhere you go people are actually looking for solutions i learned a lot from this chapter we will see as we go on really and so um if we if we go down uh further on page 59 can we just stop quickly we <laughs> okay sure You see point number 4. Mhm. Mm-hmm. It explains you how but you need to run a business. Mm. And we are in the business. Yes. We in God's business. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you it's for son and our spirit mm. unlimited. Mhm. Now, first of all, you need a product. Yes. The product is a book so we I need to have a publishing house. Mm-hmm. We've got that. Mhm. The second one is a product. Mm-hmm. So you need a, a producer who's the house when we need a product. Mm-hmm. Now the product that the publishing house brings to us is books and magazines. Yes. Then we are what? The salesman. Mm-hmm. And that is the latest evangelist. Mm-hmm. And then the market, you must have a market. Mm. And who's the market? It's all the people around you. Mm. If you stay in a flat on top, 
mm. next to, mm. and down. Mm. You stay in the house, all the people around you. Mm. Right? So we've got all these things in our favor. Mm. All right? Now we carry on. Important selling practice. Is that where you want to move? Yes, yes, we okay. will we'll move just now. You know, you know, talking about um, now that you say wherever you are, Mm. Is the is the market? It's yes. just amazing how you, so it just depends on how you actually relate to the people. Yeah, what you want them to have. You know, yesterday I'm I'm saying to my daughter, we've been at that new place now for since December. Okay, we we were mm-hmm. away in December, January, just after uh, beginning of January. I've been hearing uh, uh, voices. In some, I'm not sure which house, you know, these walls, they mm. really, <laughs> they really, really push us to. So, so there's been like little people, little people playing. I'm thinking, where are these? Because I don't think they're really next door. They are. So it's almost like at a curve where we are. Oh. So I've got many neighbors. It looks like it's many neighbors from us. There's a neighbor this side, this side, but this side there's like three almost at the corner like like that corner of the yard so i was just thinking "Mm, i need to find a way of befriending them for them to actually i know they speak africans i've heard them they speak africans to befriend them to be able to for them to become my market as well so every time you like (laughs) my daughter then said mommy you all the time you're thinking about books (laughs) <laughs> all the time you're thinking about books and so that's that's my it, it's just become it's my lifestyle my life yes yeah. my, my lifestyle and so yeah you we need to actually let god lord speak to him let him show you how to approach people let him show you to be friendly to be whatever you know that i remember um the late uncle brown saying you know when I'm in a shop and I see a little person sitting on a, on a, on a what is this? The, the food. Oh, uh, in that uh, trolley. Yes. Food trolley. Isn't sometimes we yeah, put them, put, the we put them there. He says he would sometimes walk up to the person and he was a literature evangelist. Yeah. So we walk up to a person and say, how much is this? How much are you selling this baby for? Yeah. You know, and the, that breaks the ice and people, you know, and then he tells them, I've got something that I need to show you. And somehow, you know, and I was thinking, even in this day and age, and as much as people would feel, what are you doing with my child? We're not taking the child away. You're just being friendly. If they, if we become friendly to them, they'll see that you're not um, having any evil intentions and stuff like that. So the Lord will show us how to get through to different people, to different people. So, Types of selling approaches. Ne? And, and this is where I was saying the other day, Kimberly, we are not uh, peddlers. That's it. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of these ones are inappropriate. Have you seen on, yeah. on page 59? On page 59. Yeah. yeah. So flatterer, I think we spoke about it as well at some point. This is, you, you can also put in uh, um, what you think a flatterer is. Generally, a flatterer is somebody that will, you, you are flattering the prospect, isn't it? Like, hey, this is a eh? charismatic, like you being charismatic and you flattering them in which way? Like, because you are a charismatic person is one that is really excited and, and so forth. How do you flatter them? Maybe you're telling them how beautiful they are, whatever is, and yet it's not even, you know. You, you're telling them, hey, hey, my, what, what, what? And like to get the attention, but using flattery. That's not something that, is, that, that we must. You know, um, flattery, must the word flattery means mm. I charm people to get something out of it. So you want them to buy the books. So yeah, you, no, no, but uh, you know that, that is that is a, a wrong way of doing I'm flattering it. your people, mm. but I need to have something get something out, out of, it. of it. That is that is criminal, man. Mm. You need to be genuine. You be genuine. Be genuine. You know this. Let me explain it in this way. Mm. People today in South Africa 
a lady or a man is flattering with a single man or a lady to marry them, but it's just to get the ID. Mm. Mm. That is flattering. <laughs> I will tell you all the good things. You look nicely, you are that, you're so lovely for everything, but it's to get something, get something out, out of it. Mm. And that is a problem. So we are warned against that. We should avoid that. Okay, the second one, liar. Promises, fantastic. What? Guarantees, which are not so. Listen, I guarantee you, <laughs> if you buy this family Bible, <laughs> you're going to him. Yeah. That's that a, is the best example I can give you. Yeah. I was telling a lie. That's because true. how many people have got Bibles and they're going to go to hell? Mm -hmm. Mm. So it's just a quick example. Mm. All mm. right. Mm. Okay. okay. The beggar. Sure. Hey, my brother, I didn't eat three days. Man. Can you please buy this book from me, man? I need food. Oh, I'm studying to be a pastor. I need money That's to, for I'm my saying. studies. So you need to buy. It's a liar. Beggar. Sure. Beggar. And you lie. I remember going to one place, um, it was a school, the principal said to me, I've seen those books before, I've actually um, bought some, I bought the Bible um, from this guy that came, this was in Rustenburg, this guy that came from somewhere, maybe he came from Pretoria, I can't even remember, he, she was telling me, and she says, um, he, he, I felt sorry for him. Because he was saying whatever he said um, was like begging. He says, that's why I bought. Um, uh, and so, and I thought, yeah, they really, you know, depending on what we do, we bring down the work of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. We really pull it in the mud. And, and the people that have gone out with me, I'm sure you know, I, I, I just if, look here if you do not want, I don't say it in those words, but if a person doesn't want to get, it's okay. We'll find another one, you know, elsewhere. We know what we get from our books and it is important for us to lift that benefit up, you know, much more than, for the person to see that if they get it, yes, they'll benefit from it, but they're not doing it for, we are actually doing them a favor because we are mm. bringing things of health, things to help mm. them, uh, books to help them, in the character building of their children. And so, so let people not feel, oh, we are, we are just supporting you. No, 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 no. The, or is that? You're right. And the, you know the next one mm. is also, we, it's a little trap. Sometimes we Bribe. fall in that trap. The bribing. The bribing. Use kickbacks, bribes. Mm. How many times did I catch Ali say, you know, for the preschool. Yes, yes. If you give me the names of all the parents, each set they buy, I'll give to the school a volume. Oh. <laughs> so if they buy the um, on deck, uh, what's it, and discover? Discover. It's six volumes. So the okay. bright is now first, this is where the bright starts. If you give me all the parents' names, you're bribing them. And out of all these 20 or 30 names you're giving me, each set they bought, I will give for you a volume. Volume is one of the six. One of that set. Yeah, one of Ach, da ist ein Donkey sein, ne? Die MacBook Pro für Keychain Access. Die Keychain Access ist Oswald. Ich bin noch da jetzt nicht. Oh, ja. Ich bin noch das Office da, aber nicht die Office Activate. Okay, das ist jetzt so ein Schmerzer. Ich kann das tun mit dem JBL. Okay. Das ist ja toll. Ja, das ist doch. Ah, ja, Donkey. Don't you, don't you, Werner? Yeah. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
Sorry for this. Oh, no um, problem. I just want so, to come back for mm, that bribe. The bribe. Did you catch the point? Yes. Yes. Carry on. And and um, getting names of people. I've I've done schools for a while now. It is not. And now with the poppy attitude, it's even worse. You can't. They they would tell you even back then. They'll tell you we cannot give out mm. names of um, uh, uh, parents that are in the school. So what we then say is we don't ask for names anymore. We explain how we do it. We've been to schools where we have said to them, look, we want to reach your parents. We will come here with our books. When they come to fetch their children, then they themselves, out of their own, so for you as a school, you are just making them aware that we are here. Amen. Nothing for, we won't even ask you to do whatever it is. So we... In that way, the person themselves is the one that gives you permission. the number. Yeah, the permission. Then you keep on following that person on your own, like between you and the parents. And you so didn't you're not, bring the school in trouble. You didn't bring this. Yes, you didn't put the school in trouble, and they know that. Um, and so it's it's very important for us to. You know, so I was just mentioning. I like in that. Terms of the, I like <laughs> that because mm-hmm. you know, if I try to trap somebody into a bribe. And I'm talking character building books. Mm, what, what are you saying? I thinking? Hey, is these guys going to teach my school children to, to, to bribe people? Mm. Because these guys are doing it. They don't, they, they, they don't live out what, what they they're teach. preaching. Yes, yes. Sure. Yeah. So anyway, um, going down intimidate, I use threats for them to buy you threaten them. I'm sure there's different yeah. threats that can that can be used. Yeah, no, no, it's a lot. Listen, if you don't buy this healthy book, you're going to 250 recipes. You've got the 80% of getting cancer. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you threaten me. It's a threat. Mm. You don't teach your children out of these books, Bible story books. You've got to it's a good shot that they're gonna become. Yeah. yeah. God never did that. Yeah. And we mustn't do that. Mm. And you know, the charismatics, I want to go back to me. They use that threat. Mm. They would tell yeah. you, well, you're going to burn forever and ever and ever and ever. Now, who wants to be burned? Even though, you know where that thing started? Mm. Roman Catholic yeah. Church. Because yeah. they want money. Yeah. So that your loved ones can come out of. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. What do they call it? Pegatory. Yeah. So, so that is direct a trick from the devil. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because we represent a loving God. Mm. Why is there hell? A lady asked me that question. Why is there going to be a hell? Mm. Is God going to punish people? So I thought about that when she asked me the question, and it always stuck to me that one. Mm. Hell is grace. Mm. And I, I told her that hell is grace. She says to me, How? How? Mm. I should imagine I'm a thief. And I don't want to be converted as a thief. Mm. And I'm going to go into heaven to live forever Mm. and ever Mm. and ever. And I see in front of police house this nice street of gold on the driveway Mm. to our And I said, no. Took a hammer. (laughs) Took a... In heaven. Yeah. Where well, I'm going to go with it? <laughs> what I'm going to do? Why do I steal? To sell. To who? Easy living. Now, I, because my mind said, it's not of God. Mm. I want to steal. Mm. And there's nothing to steal because nobody's going to buy it from me. Don't you think that is going to be hell? Mm. 
for the person. It's your choice. All God does is tells you, I'm going to give you, allow you your choice. Imagine a druggie who doesn't want to get converted. Mm. And he's going to walk through the whole day. Hey, you've got the... No, no, everybody's going to... What's that? <laughs> yeah. Imagine a murderer. Mm. No, people who are murderers are sick people. And God can cure them, but they don't want God to, to, be to be cured. Mm. Who is he going to kill? You see, that is why the devil can't go back into heaven. Who's going to mess up there? Mm. It will be hell. And then I took them to Revelation. When the Lord says, every new knee will kneel. Mm. And what will they say? You judge. Your judgment was right. Mm. I don't want to be with you. Mm. That you ever went to visit an uncle or an aunt that you don't want to visit. Hey, when we were young. Uh, yeah, when we were kids. Am I right? <laughs> you go away for a weekend, it feels like a month, man. Yeah. Am I right? Mm. For right? Yes. It felt like a month. Yes. And it was just a weekend. Mm -hmm. Now, how would heaven feel for those people? Mm. So it's guys. They don't want to be with God. Sure. <clears throat> it's guys. That's amazing. So now I've mm. explained to her that hell is guys. She says to me, thank you. Mm. Now I know. Makes it's not the Lord who wants to kill people. Mm. And in fact, that fire was meant for, the Bible says it was meant for the devil and his angels. Not Only, for us. Not for us. You're right. But You're we right. choose. We choose. Right. Mm. Yeah. So if somebody so. asks you about hell, it's grace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, F is the peddler. The peddler is what? Walking store, when they say I'm a, I'm a moving bookshop, bringing all items and leaving it to the prospect to choose the item he prefers to buy, meaning we don't actually um, make the person aware of the need of whatever you, so you say, choose, mm. which one do you, oh, you don't want this one, so you can get this mm. one, this other one. Mm. That. And it's saying that's not... No, it's not the right way. Not, you know, you <laughs> go to check as the lady that sits way behind the door. I promise you, do it. Do it this week. Take your mm. baked beans. Ooh. Mm. You know ku, yeah. baked beans? Mm. And then there's the other one, the roads. Yeah. Took one there, who one roads. Mm. Go to the lady there at the cashier mm. and tell her which one is the best. Mm. What's he's going to tell you? I don't know. Now, that's a big class. You choose. <laughs> you choose. I, I, that's the best I can explain it. Mm. Guys, can you pick it up? You are what? You are actually a consultant. You can, you know, if I go to an insurance guy who mm. wants to sell me life insurance or what investment, mm. He will take one and two or three packages. Mm. And then he will tell me, listen, my friend, this is the benefit of A, mm. this is the benefit of B, mm. this is the benefit of C. Mm. But this is the drawback on C mm. and B and A. Mm. And then you must, he says, all right, I'll show this point. If I were you, mm. I will go for this one. Mm. You know, people want to be lead, not told, mm. not told, but wants to be lead. And Bible stories. Why must I take the 10 volume and, and not the 6 volume discover? Hey, that's a big one. You need to actually walk us through that. 
All right, let's talk about that. <laughs> Point number one. Mm. The, the, the Bible stories, how many children do you have? Mostly the black communion's got three or four children. Am I right? Mm. Now, if you got um, the Bible stories, mm-hmm. children are very selfish. We all know that. <laughs> mm. That sect can stand on that shelf. Till one take them. Mm-hmm. What is going to happen? Tell me. They're all going to fight for that one volume. But that volume was the whole week on the shelf. <laughs> now you can come and say, hey, you take number two, you take number three, mm. you take number four. They all look 90% the same. Mm. That is why they were printed that. So that children can have their own book and you can swap one another. By doing that, what do you do? You teach your children to see. Mm-hmm. There's your first lesson. Mm-hmm. So that's a benefit. Now the sixth one is, the, the sixth volume is not in depth on the whole Bible as the 10 volume. Mm-hmm. So now the 10 volume, you can have Teach your children more in depth on the Bible than the six. The six volume one is just more for quick reference. Because their stories are shorter. That's it. So, and so, but mm. the 10 volume is more in depth. Mm. Now, I would like more to know the Bible in depth than, than the six volumes. Mm. And don't try to sell. The six volume and the ten and volume for you're robbing people. <laughs> you're robbing people. Because your ten volume is covering more than that six. Mm. But what I will put in in the place of a six volume it is your great stories. Oh. You see? The Bible story is spiritual. We read mm. and what happened in the, and we can took it on our spiritual life. But the great stories is actually for now where people are getting into trouble. Mm. Morals. <coughs> Moral stories. Mm. Yeah. That's a different. So we mustn't tell them now you need all of it. You can tell the people that they can see. Mm. You want to save money <laughs> for them and you want to help them write. Mm. Because tomorrow they're going to come and ask for Bible studies. Yeah. You can, no, what I say, you can sell Bible story and great stories for kids mm. together. Or Great stories and the discover. discover. As but, in, yeah, because but, it's the, the Bible story and indeed. discover are both Bible stories. Bible yeah. stories. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, so, so you see, all it is, if people don't really have the money for the big set, mm. you refer them to that one. The smaller one. The smaller one. Mm. And they pay less. Mm. That's it. Well, the Bible stories were Rolls Royce. That's true. The, the, <laughs> the, the, um, I see we must clear that one now. It's the Rolls Royce. The, um, on that, what you call it, discover, discover. it's the Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Are you with me? Mm-hmm. So They're both is, cars. By, 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 by both but, cars, mm-hmm. you're going to travel with them, but... The, the Rolls Royce, you, you pay because you drive in air condition, you cut overnight. But the folks of honey must open the windows. There is no air con. Are you with me now? Mm-hmm. So it's not going into that <laughs> death. What the Bible story? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Edla. And then order filler. I see there's... Uh, I, I don't really... Gives the customer only what they ask for. This is now when we 
How do you explain that? Gives the customer only what they ask for. When they, when they say, because you haven't given them uh, um, an open mind to say they actually need the great stories and the Bible stories, they ask for um, maybe just the, 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 the what is it, uh, Bible answers. Like you, you don't explain to them how Bible stories or how great time, great, uh, great stories for kids will actually benefit the children, especially with people, for people with children. I think in my mind, if you do something like that, like you're doing, a, you do, you're not doing them, you're not giving them the best. You're actually doing a, what do we call it, disfavor mm. or something like, because you, you are, you are initialing them of, what is initial? You, you, you see, eh? that's it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. definitely yeah. so. Um, if a man comes to me and he says, listen, I want only the two, 250 edition. Mm. Now, that's a question. Actually, he's asking for more information. Mm. You must pick it up and ask him. Why do you only need the 250 recipe? Mm-hmm. Why, why do you only want that? Mm-hmm. You maybe will tell you, you know, I saw that yes. by a friend With of somebody. mine yes. and uh, he had a stomach problem and I saw that recipe for stomach mm. and it worked for him. Mm. Okay. But, oh, thank you for that. That I like that. But did you know we've got healthy nerd, healthy plants, mm-hmm. healthy foods? No. Now you see, by just giving him that book, mm. you lost the sale on the other two. Now, and then ask him, why are you a health fanatic? It's good to ask. Mm. Are you a health fanatic? You get people, they are health fanatics. Mm. But what consider the health message? Yes, but we eat. No. If he tells me he's a health fanatic, then I would ask him, you see, by asking questions, you let this man think. Mm. Say to him, okay, that you know we've got a set of a library of a health, we call it the health message. Mm. Now, he thinks, health me, oh, oh what is this now? Mm. And you see how you brought in the mind now mm-hmm. and says, you know, health, to be healthy is what we eat, what we drink, how many times we, how long we sleep, mm-hmm. fresh air, <laughs> and spiritual. And what is my relationship with my fellow men? Mm-hmm. And exercise. That is actually for health fanatics like you people. <laughs> Now, what he's going to say, hey, I want to know more. Mm. Now, you can tell him, you've got kids, now you ask. Yes? Aha, uh-huh. what books are you going to push? Um, if he's old, he doesn't have kids, mm. you can, what about the conflicts here? Mm. What about the English Bible with the Bible studies at the back? Mm. You know, if you got that, if you bought that book, don't sell him God's answers. I mean, <laughs> you've got because that is already in the Bible. It's in the Bible. No. Be careful what we do, and then people will. You don't go further on what is going to happen. Mm. That man can come back and say, you know, you were honest with me, mm. and now because of that honesty. I was studying these books. Mm. I want to be baptized. Oh, I want to sure. know more. Okay, so we've got the point now. Yeah. Let me let me quickly share with you something that happened now, not long back, maybe about three weeks ago in, in Rustenburg. So we at a school they allowed us to do this thing that we 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 aim to get the parents, you know, to so this lady was interested in um in discover the Bible. So she, she says, um, because you can do, isn't you can do an invoice, you can do a quotation. So we yeah. ask 
Um, can, can we send you a quotation, an invoice? No, 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 send me a quotation so that I can show my husband. So sent her a quotation. So when it came, we, then we followed up, obviously. Oh, that quotation. No, no, no. I found a bargain in um, some bookshop or something like oh, that. Oh, bookshop or something. So then immediately, um, Lorenta says to me, what do I say to her? So, so I said to her, um, ah, just, you know, like in my mind, I'm answering, ah, it's fine, just leave. Then the Holy Spirit said to me, are you sure? <laughs> So after some time, I actually, I wrote down some, I, and I believe it's not me. No. Because I really, really believe God is the one who said, thank them, appreciate what they, like congratulate them for finding the bargain and so forth and tell them what else we have and how else we can help them. So not in those words exactly. So she, she actually just copied and sent it to the person. You know what the person then said? Mm. We've actually been looking for Bible studies. Can you please give, ah. and, uh, you know, I felt, you know, when she said, listen, this You're is what this told, person, eh? I got, a, and I said, Yo, you know, Lord, sometimes we're so careless with souls, mm -hmm. very careless, because, I mean, we could really easily have said, listen, here, it's okay, we're going to the next person next mm -hmm. door, you know, and so forth, so, when, when you say we actually close doors sometimes, yeah. we, we, the person will come back and say, you were actually very real with us. You were, you were honest and you, there you get. So anyway. Well, yeah. you know, if those people go yeah. through baptism, that is the, the top of every anything you can get from God. And I think sometimes we decide for them, which is not right. You don't mm. know what the person is going through, what the person can afford, what the person can... Yes, let them rather tell you, look here, at the moment, I, and when they say no now, doesn't mean that they're not mm. going to say yes mm. later. You can check. Did you hear Yanni asking, did you check when you can go back to them and so, or when they'll have money? That just shows that you are really interested, interested in, in them. Way. Yeah. Mm. So it, it really, can I give you three months? Can I, would you like me to come back next month? No, I think it will maybe try. You will hear people actually genuinely saying in, in April, what is that? That lady who was um, principal at the, at the school, she was saying she's got a birthday and there's too many things happening. See me in, I think it was two months from that time. She, she's still, I can't remember her name now, at Pinky Ponky. I think she said two months, the principal. She said two months because she was interested in things, but she couldn't commit at that moment. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what we are saying is, yes, yes. Yeah. So, and I mean, April is next month. Yes. So be patient with people. They are people. They are not mm. things. <laughs> it's exactly, Amen. exactly. Amen. Amen. So, yeah. Wow. No, we've stayed a lot here. I guess we can move. I, I wanted to check if she's still with us. Um, Sister Leah, if you can hear me, please just uh, send a message to say you're still with us. Yeah, we'll wait to hear your message, to see your message. All right. So um, we've, we've done, I'm sure we, we can go through the details of the next and so forth and ask the questions when we, um, when you are, uh, if you get stuck and so forth, I'm doing the, the admitting and also listen. Okay, Sister Leah says she's with us. Thank you very much for the response, Sister Leah. So, yeah, if you go on to the next one, we were talking about inappropriate selling practices. Né? Now we go on to the Christian and professional salesmanship. This is where we fall in. Né? Satisfying customer needs is the first one. Satisfy customer needs. If, if you look at that, um, and I think we've, we've mentioned it, and, and we've actually, when, when we're talking about these, uh, um, these rules of uh, selling, we may not, there's someone who we need to mute. Uh, let me just quickly check um, who needs to be muted. Where is the thing? Uh, participants. Okay. Ask them. Ask them. All right. 
That's fine. So, so we, we're talking now, um, Christian salesmanship, ne? satisfying the customer needs. Professional salesmanship is Christian and is professional. The way of handling clients, the way of handling customers, the way of handling products, okay? It is satisfying the client's needs. How do we get to that? That is what we're basically Mm. Going, going to look at and so forth. So professional salespeople use professional approaches and they are honest in all their transactions. They diagnose the needs of their prospects and present the products accordingly. And and what? Convincing. And so for you to, to be convincing, what did we say earlier on? How do we get to be convincing? What's one way that you can um you, you can you can think of be How honest. do you become, be to be honest, yes. And also to, to actually use our books, our products, isn't it? Yes. Because then you become authentic. You will be yeah. able to convince a person from your experience. So that is something that is very, yeah, it's, it's something that is, uh, um, yes, Sister Leah says, know your books. That's correct. That way you, you will get to actually um, being convincing. Did you want to say something? Yes. How do you satisfy a need? What? How do you satisfy a need? The need of a non-reader. Okay. Can we? So the the facilitator doesn't have all the answers. We're all talking. Ne? That's why we're in training. What do you think? You see, the first thing what you must do is. You must awaken the need that he has. If a person don't, it's like a man is going to a rehabilitation um, center. Mm -hmm. You can't force him to go there. He must first know I'm a drug addict. Mm. Point number one. Point number two, I want help. If you come to those two points, you've won. Same. Now, right, let's go now to the non-reader. If you sit with people and you tell him, and your family, what is the most curious thing? What are you scared of in your family? Mm. And he will tell you maybe, no, I'm scared of um, drugs. When you ask him, okay, um, drugs, mm -hmm. do you've got people using drugs in your family? Why did he say drugs? Mm -hmm. Maybe there are people in his family using drugs. Mm -hmm. He will tell you, yes. Now, what scares you about that? Mm -hmm. You open up. Now, I've got a book. If it is a parent, that will help your children not to use drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, anything that people are scared of, non-readers, people will read a lot. They want to know what is going to be. And they're going to take that book and read. And that is how we get info today. You mm. take Google, you take everything today. You must read. If you're not like reading, I can't force you to read. But I can put the info into your hands. <laughs> and is what are you going to do? Mm. What, what did you say, mommy? Just hang on. Uh, you told these people... Um, if if you if you if you want to hide what you just say it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it is it is when I am working with the African African Africans. Uh -huh. But if you want to hide it, 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 info, an information to an African, put it in. Mm. So it's not like uh, <laughs> mm. if I if I come to the Africaners, I I'm I'm working. You can see they are readers. And when they say we have the Bible, they really mean it. If you go, if you mean it, they have words, they have a lot of Bibles. 
Mm. But to, 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 to an African, it's very difficult. So mm. I will just tell them, if you wanted to write an information, an information to an African, put it in a book. So that I will encourage them to, to go to the what? I like that one. Book. Yeah. It's something that I've heard um, before as well. And, and uh, the, the, my response would be, if a person has children, like Yanni said, the person, the children will benefit and they'll share with the, the, the person, the, the person has, that says, I'm not a reader. Parents. The second thing, yes, with the parents. The second thing is um, in this world, we, we can't not get information. And unfortunately, the only way of getting information is through Yes. And so you want your children because there, there's a portion that talks about um, pride, the pride of the family, the family excelling and so forth. So if you mention something like that to, the, um, to a parent, listen, you want them to succeed. What do you want them to be or what do, you, what do they say they're going to be and so forth? The only way is knowledge, information and so forth. So it's almost like you are urging them to go to... And if it's a person who's alone, because I've met, we've met people, parents who say, ah, but me, I'm not, I'm not a reader, but don't you encourage your children um, to read? That is something that they would uh, probably think about because at school, they'll be, they'll be needing to write uh, compositions. They'll be need, needing to do comprehension. When they get to varsity, they'll need to research for them to actually um, excel. So, yeah. Yeah. So maybe you can also say what you... You know, I just want to come into that one. And thank you for that, um, Sarai. If you write information to Africans, put it in a book. But the tables are turning. My son is a lecturer at UNISA. And there you just work on that. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, over most of the university, universities mm. all over the world is going to do from home because it costs too much to, get, to keep the buildings up and everything. Mm. So they get the syllabus and they must do their research and they must go through that stuff. Mm. Or they speak to a lecturer if they don't understand that piece. Yes. They'll phone your NISA, there's a number. That call will go through to my son. They don't even have my son's cell number. You know how they many do. students he have? 1,200. Sure. That's how many students he have. And he says to me, and he says to me that, and then on the phone, they don't know even who I am. Mm. There's no virtual meeting. Sure. It's just on the phone. And uh, they will settle it out and you will sit down and you will talk to them. Mm. And then he explain and they have a discussion and then she will say, oh, ye, now I understand now, thank you very much. Mm. And then they will disconnect. Mm -hmm. And that is the way the world is moving. Mm -hmm. But... You know, on that 1,200 students, 95% mm. of them are black, mm. some people. Mm. So the, that is why I'm telling you now, the tables are turning. Mm. Mm. They're getting into education. They're getting That's what in, you're saying. Say, yes. And oh, especially yeah. at the read. Mm. Mm. And young people, black, white, pink, yellow, purple, whatever mm. the color, mm. They want, they don't believe old people anymore. Mm. They don't even believe the pastors. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's a fact. Mm. It's happening. Even in the Seventh-day Adventist church, mm. they go, you the pastor or the elder will say something, mm. they look at you. Mm. And they say, amen in church. But when you turn your back, mm. they're on that thing. Mm. They search. To prove. Mm. They search. Mm. And if you will speak correctly, you will maybe one day say, hey, elder, 
That thing you told me, mm. I shot. Mm. <laughs> Because they went and searched. And they went and searched. They searched, yeah. Even the Bible, mm. even the spirit of prophecy. Mm. But they research. You know, my son, you can tell him anything. He looked at you. He says, okay. Keeps quiet. <laughs> Man, later on, he comes to me and says, Dad, you know we had that discussion. I said, yeah, I can remember. I said, you were right. I said, it took you three weeks to find that out. <laughs> he says, no, I checked you up. I checked you up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. People, the young people, <laughs> don't eat anything, anything more for, for, like we say, for cake. Remember? Yeah. They don't eat it up for cake. <laughs> I listened to your son this morning. Mm. I said to him, where are you study?" <laughs> oh, Cape Town. I said, oh, luck up by the sea. He says, no, 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 no. I stayed home. On the, mm. I tried yeah. him. I just <laughs> tasted him, you know. <laughs> And I saw, because I know, I've got that background from my son, how yeah. they study. Mm. And he's at a good university. Mm. Okay. Hey. Carry on. Yeah. You wanted so, to say? Sorry, carry on. Okay, can I answer your question like that? This is where we want now to make decisions for people. Yes. And I say it in love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, sometimes we all fall in that trap. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is, God says, what are we? Mm -hmm. We are the soul. Yes. That's all we do. We just kind of saw the sea. Who's going to make it wet? God. Yeah. Who will put the growth in? Yeah. Well, better. That's his work. So, in our corporate ministry book, what is the promise what we get? Those books who were sitting on the shelf. Mm, one day. One day, when God's timing is right, mm. not our time, they will take and they will dust, dust them. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Mm. And they will take those books of the shelf and they will start reading it. It's a yeah. promise. Mm. God didn't say that to, to keep us happy. That's He made true. a promise. Mm. Now, If we didn't see that that book was on the shelf, mm. there was a problem. So, so we need to that book. at least get it to the shelf. Get it to the shelf. The rest is God's problem. God's problem. Amen. Mm. Amen. That is what. Uh, Amen. And we must never forget mm. we are just sowing the seeds see in it, faith. Yes. Mm. We were talking about faith. By, by, go and sell these books. We do it by right. faith. For her, to even, sorry. for her to even get 
to get to the point where she has actually bought. Yeah. I think that's powerful. We can we can only praise God that she got to buying the book, isn't that's it? That's right. Uh, and 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 I think Yani Yani yeah has a point. Maybe one thing that we can do is just to encourage. Look, one one paragraph a day. It's nothing. Like let her let her know that you're still concerned about her, still care mm. for her, mm. and so forth. Yeah, Get, try one paragraph a day and see how it goes, and and leave it. That's, That's all it. we can do. That's I just remember just one thing. Mm-hmm. We were saying this great controversy. It was a thick volume. Okay. So we go to the to the Carolina to hospital. Mm-hmm. To the residence. Mm-hmm. So the doctor just buy the book and put it to, to the, the, the ghost talker. Okay. So there was also um, disturbances of the doctors in in the hospital mm. around the world, around the, the country. Mm. So he, they were, the doctors now were at home. But that dread controversy was torn. Mm. The, 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 the first pages and the last pages. Mm. And he said he just said and said, Well, they said I must have been this book. <laughs> then he opened the, the last pages because some were torn. Eventually we were there around. When mm. you read that book, I think for three days. Mm. He sees us, he calls us. Are you the one who sells the, that book, that thick book like this one, which is written in great controversy? Mm. And you say, yes. And you say, please, when I have nothing to do, I just look to the book, the book mm. and I started to read it. But for now, I want, the, 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 I want it from the context. So please, mm. can you come with the book? The full one. The full one. Before sure. we even uh, <laughs> deliver mm. the book, mm. he paid us in full. Mm. Now you see, see, you see, God's you see, this is God's sure. work. Yes. Yeah, we are. The, can I just allow this to me on yes. books? Yes, there was a guy, uh, a, a literature evangelist in Cape Town, he came to these Muslims and he told the wife was there. The man was on sea on a, on a boat fishing mm. trawler. Mm. So they go out for the week, then they come back. And he sold those great controversy books to a Muslim. Mm. And the wife bought, bought. the book. Mm. Now the husband is came on back. sea. Mm. She starts reading the great controversy. Mm. And she says, hey, man. The Holy Spirit worked with her, and he, she said to him, wow, I'm converting. Mm. She got converted. Sure. So when my husband came back after that, mm. she told him, yeah, you must read this. Mm. He looked at the book, and he said to her, hey, you take this rubbish, you throw it up. I don't want it to be my heart. So she fought back. Mm. So she put her, she hide the book. Mm. So the husband was there for three, four days at home. Now they're going to go for another trip out the husband mm. on this fishing trawler. Mm. When he got, at those three days, she was praying to God. Mm. And as she packed his clothes, every time she packed his clothes, Put, put it in. Close to the case. What happened? He got into his shelter there on the boat mm. and he packed out his clothes and he saw the book. And he thought, you know what? I'm going to put this book here on that shelf. But if I come back, I'm going to tell my wife she must burn that. But she must burn it. I don't want to burn it. Mm. She must burn it. Those, that we, they would have gone out for 15 days. Mm. So, packed out everything, and he was barefoot. And he walked, and the nail. Sure. Went in, in the boat. Mm. Now you know it's rust. Mm. 
and he put his foot into deep into that nail. But they were all sore now. Mm. And that thing got settled. Mm. But back, his foot, his leg, and then they put him on light duty. The captain, he says, listen, we can't turn around, but we'll give you some first aid here that we've got, mm. but you must be rest. And one evening, he was lying, and the fever was slowly coming down. He looked in this room, and he looked, and he saw that book. That book was shining, late night. Hmm. You know where he slept? Hmm. It lighted up at the whole room hmm. in the boat. Hmm. And he thought, you know, maybe it's a fever. Mm. And he looked again, he said, that book. So he stood up and jumped, jumped, jumped on his feet, mm. took that book. Mm. And he read that girl from the Versi. Mm. So when the time he got back home, his foot was healed. Mm. Amen. Mm. Healed. Amen. And now he wanted to give that book to his wife and say, you're going to burn it. Mm. Remember? Mm. 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 He told her I got converted. They got Bible studies, he became a seminary adventist. Make a long story short, he was a liturgy, he became a literature man. Sure. And then he became a leader yeah. in Cape Town. Hmm. Yeah, I've met that guy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that Muslim. And he told us the story himself. Hmm. But he died later on of, of old age. He retired okay. and he died. Hmm. But the point I'm making to you. You can't stop God's work. And God's got many ways. The timing wasn't right for that man to read. God knew. I don't say God put the nail there. Mm. He didn't. But he knew that God's going to go to there. Yeah. But then the book was there. Mm. And he thank God for that. Sure. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, yes, that's powerful. So anyway, we were talking about being convincing, ne? and um, the LE as missionary salesman, we are missionary salespeople. Therefore, we must choose only selling practices that are in accordance with the Christian principles, isn't it? Converses, that's a powerful text. That's a powerful um, quotation there. Canvases, canvases, <laughs> need to be daily converted to God that their words and deeds may be a savor of life and to life that they may exert a saving influence. So every time we're talking, every time we're doing something, we need to be very careful what we say because we can actually send people off in the opposite direction just by what we say. We, we need to be very, very careful. So the only way of being careful is to ask God to convert us every day. Every day. It's not a once-off. Not a once-off. So anyway, going down, there's phases of sales process. Should we take a little um, break? I, I need to go to the bathroom. Or maybe we can just stand up and drink some water and so forth. Excuse me. Yeah, we're now on um, 59, so we're going to start on 61 because 59 is just a summary. Okay. Yeah. I just need the bathroom. Quick. That's fine. We can stand and be drink water and be, be, be awake and so forth. Yes. 
What do I would also recommend? Peace above. They, they Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can tell her your God is not working. Yani. Yeah. <laughs> tell her your God is not working for you. Read this book, Peace Above a Storm, and see what my God is doing for people. What is your God doing for you? This is, you know, sometimes God brings people like that to us mm. in that situation and say to her, you go to church, you go to this. What is your God doing for you? That peace above, it, it draws people to God. Hmm. You want to sit with me? Now, often you just you are fearful of you not know, wanting to offend people or appear things that hmm. like. See, I'm asking you a question. Did you went to your God? And what did that for you? If that God doesn't help, you must try another God. Try another God. Try another God. If but didn't try, help try the one. one who makes the heaven and earth, who created you and me. You must try that God. And before she knows what's going on, guys, I want you to listen to that um, video clip. The one you put there? Yes. The one that you said. Listen. And see what that lady changed, what she went through. Mm -hmm. The group, it's on the Ali group. Oh, she, he's not. He's not. Um, he's not on that. On the big. On the big group. Okay. He's the one that I you, sent to you. you yeah, can, if you, you can add, up. yeah, I couldn't add him. Um, yeah. But he's on your okay. group. He's on. Yes, he's on my group. Okay, I'm just gonna. What I will do now is I'm just sending a break. Okay. But, guys, we must, you know, time is short. Yeah. And we must talk straight. Yes, you can write some. Great, yes. It's for Nande. No, it's mine. <laughs> yes, for Nande. So, when we move down to page uh, 61, thank you very much for the break. Page 61. Pre-sales preparation, pre-sales preparation. So there's four um, ways of preparing, eh? spiritual upliftment, mental, and three, one, three, three. Then there's the physical. 
So if you look at, um, quickly look at the spiritual, it's basically what we spoke about even last, um, last week. Yes. Devotion. Ne? We need that. Yes, for Nonde. Literature evangelism is a ministry of leading men and women to Christ. Therefore, it must be conducted from a spiritual standpoint and the LE must be a deeply spiritual worker. As a church worker, you need to have complete dedication. Have soul winning as the principal object, objective in mind. Obedience to heavenly principles. We spoke about this last time. Ne? Tithe, offerings, and so forth. Be in good and regular standing. Study of the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. And prayer, obviously. Ne? Because yeah. we can't study uh, um, the Bible without prayer, isn't it? So that spiritual upliftment, we spoke about it last week. We, we need to be prepared spiritually like that. You know, there's someone who said, we meet a lot of uh, spirits, a lot of demons out there. We need to be prepared that we cover ourselves with the blood Amen. of Jesus all the time. Before we even get out, before we reach them, let us be covered like that. So that's why the, the, this work, it's not just, a work that must be done anyhow. Ne? It is something that is important. We need to be dedicated completely to God. And if we look at the next one, mental preparation, that is something that is very important. Knowledge of the books we sell. We spoke about this even last week. Okay. We need to know the facts and the benefits of the books. Now, just as an example, facts that we need to know, like the number of pages in the book, ne? we, we I think we spoke about it. We need to know the number of chapters so that we need to know who the author is, the content, you know, like the, so that you are actually able to, to refer people even, you know, if they ask a question. This is why in my mind, it is very, very important for us to actually know the books that we sell. What way can we know it better than when we're actually using the book ourselves? Because sometimes I know there's times, Yanni, when people have asked me for a book that they saw with a neighbor, mm -hmm. I haven't refused to give them, even if I don't know the book as such, if you hear what I'm saying, maybe it's not a book that, that I'm using, but if they say, please get me this book, I'll be able to get it to them. However, at least know who the author is and who the, let's use our books. It will just make a lot of sense for us to actually um, do that okay in that way we'll be able to identify the benefits depending on the facts that we have the facts about the book we actually get it converted into benefits why 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 is this book by nancy van pelt for example why why uh, the the highly effective marriage nancy van pelt is a family therapist so you'll be able to, that's already a benefit. It's a fact, you know, the author, ne? Mm -hmm. you know, the author, it covers um, family issues and marriage issues and so forth, but convert that into a benefit. Why, why is it, why Nancy? Mm -hmm. Because she is a family therapist and you will be able to trust a family therapist, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you will already be uh, um, letting the people think, oh, Okay, family therapist. Oh, okay. Do they cover uh, um, single parenting, for example, if you're doing the parenting, um, the train up the child and so forth? You'll be able to, yes, look at this, uh, look at this, uh, what you call it, the, the chapter. It mm -hmm. does cover. So, so that your, your facts converting to benefits is something that is very important. Okay. And I liked what Yanni said earlier on. So if, if he gives us his... Um, his, his cell stock. And I think this is prevalent amongst us as LEs. We get, should I say spoon fed? Am I being harsh if I say that? We, because he will give us how he sells um, whatever, train up a child. But am I using it? If I'm not using it, then really I'm actually just working on what he said Mm. And I'm passing it on to my client, isn't mm. that is why you can't in as much as yes, we can do a full library of um, uh, the HHS, whatever, the HHS books. There, there is a time to do that. But 
to individuals. Guys, let's try and do the books that we um, use, the books that we, that we sell. It is important. If a library or a school asks you to give them everything, you won't refuse, will you? No. No. But it doesn't mean that you have read all of them, yeah. but we are encouraging us to make use of the books that we are. It's just much easier to present to people and it's more authentic. It's more convincing. It's just, it, it really, why are you laughing? It really makes, makes, makes sense. Yeah. Went through. You don't. I just said to me, these children, these kids don't come out with the money. That's right. That's so right. Said, the mm. So now I'm feeling guilty. Personally, I have not. So it's a challenge to each one of us. And I'm not condemning anyone here. You know that. We, we are all learning and we're learning together. I'm le I've learned a lot. I'm telling you the last how many weeks that we've been going through this training again. It's just amazing the That's things right. that we pick up and really. Yeah, so, so when you start feeling guilty like that, go to the book. You see? It's just amazing. So the Lord is saying what to us? Let's go back to the roots. Let's go back to what we need to do, the basics. Let's go and use our books. At least even if you start. In, in my, in my um, time of selling uh, books, I, I've been able to be authentic to the person because I started using. I, and I've said to them, men, I, am using, I haven't finished, but what I've gotten from here, is something that is just amazing. And I think that's being real and honest, honestly. I mean, if I haven't read the whole book, I can't say I've read the whole book and so forth. So let us keep, yeah, it's it's important. Number two says memorizing a standard sales stock. Maybe this is why I was saying we can get a sales stock. We can get sales stocks. You know, on on the on the um, on the portal, there is a, a, a prospectus which actually has some, um, like a sales, sales, sales talk sales book. on the prospectus itself. So it's got the picture of the book, why you must sell the book or why the person must buy the book mm. and the things that you actually say. Really? It is, is, yes, on the mm. portal. You can, you can sell any book, but what we are saying is it's important for you to actually go through the books. So it's not just, so that it's not just about selling, it becomes your lifestyle. It says here that the, the, having a memorized sales talk, sales presentation provides the best approach, selling points, and a proven, which have been proven effective by more successful LEs. So, yes, we're riding on the back of somebody that's done it. Ne? Yes, mm -hmm. it is fine. It provides a concise yet accurate facts and benefits about the book or the magazine. And that is true. It eliminates repetition and saves time for both the salesman and the prospect. So you can come up with your own so that you, you know, okay, I've said one, two, three, and so forth. Or you can memorize that one, but use the book. It's important. Then that one there, number D says, guarantees effective sales ne? by having sales points arranged in a logical, logical sequence. You know, um, the first time I, so I sold um, uh, uh, Train Up a Child, it was, uh, I was taken to, to the field by one of the uh, LEs. Um, I'm trying to get to the name, one of the leaders. Um, yeah, but anyway, he says, um, he, I just heard what he said. And I thought, oh, that is actually quite powerful. And, and so I, I started saying that, but not with much success until uh -huh. I went back to <laughs> Go back and check what the book is doing and so forth. She says, um, Sister Leah here says, that's true. I've also learned um, to use the book, I guess, Sister Leah, ne? to be able to use the book. Sister yeah. Leah got um, Train Up a Child also. I, th I think that was Train Up a Child. No, Sister Leah, it was Train Up a Child. 
And Sister Leah is actually a grandparent now. She's, she's um, though she doesn't look like a grandparent, <laughs> she says, yes, it was train up a child. So the, the, the thing of buying stock for yourself is something that will actually encourage us to use, use the book. Yes, we can buy everything. I mean, if you've got money, go ahead mm-hmm. and buy the whole, what do you call it? But what's the point if we're not using mm-hmm. the, buy, yes. Buy the book that you know. Yes. Get stock for that. And slowly, like I told you guys, take a weekend on the Sabbath. There's nothing wrong to read peace above. 250 recipes. There's nothing wrong to do that on the Sabbath. But don't stay away now from church. <laughs> Go to church and come back. And then you do things like that. So the, the, why I'm telling you that, you take how many sermons are they done on the Holy Spirit? Mm. A lot. Now, if a pastor would just copy another pastor's sermon, mm it won't be powerful. Mm. But when he takes some of that stuff and does research, mm. then he's put on that um, pulpit with fire mm. when he speaks. Mm. Am I right? Mm. Mm. It's the same. You are preparing a sermon, mm. basically, mm. for your people, but you're not, um, preaching is not selling. Mm. But, you must know that product. You must know what you're talking about. Mm. That is why, um, Kimberly, I told you for that lady, piece above. Go and buy yourself a piece above. Go through that piece above. You're going to go through that book two days. And you will see that there's a lot of answers mm. for that lady. Mm. A lot of answers. I just want to Know your purpose, know your calling. Yes. Amen. I have an experience one day. We had a book. I think it was now changed to, 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 to future recipes. Okay. It was progressive cooking. Progressive and cooking. cooking. Yeah, okay. It was called progressive books. cooking. Yes. All right. I, I, we just had that book. Then we, I bought, just, it was, it was a, a, a lot of ladies sewing doing the machine work. Uh-huh. You get in. I check out the book. Mm-hmm. It was just from Jacob to the what? To the person. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I uh, said, oh, I know this book. Mm-hmm. You, 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 you learn how to cook it without meat. Sure. And to me, it was something new. I did not know about the what? The book. The book. And I also had another book which was entitled New Marriage Working to Just Well. Mm. Then I did go to someone who was, who was a shopkeeper. I get in there, I talk to her, and I said, I've got, I've got a nice book, this one, we're very joking to this one. Uh-huh. And she said, ah, this is not for me. Mm. I am my, I, my husband. Hey. You see? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, know your Yeah, book. and know the client. And know the client. Yes. Now, that is very true what you say. Yeah. yeah. Like, very true. Want to get that? that is why. Yeah. Get first, we were coming to this mm. canvassing. Yes. Get much more information, information from your customer what you can. Yes. Because that was a, a bit of a sore one. Eh? Mm. Yes. <laughs> the lady, yo, mm. you know, when a man talks and he says, yeah, but you and your wife and you and your husband and you mm. carry on. Mm. Mm. And when you finish with your presentation, he tells you, my wife is dead, my yeah. husband is dead. Yeah. You wasted how much time? Yes. Now, how much sure. time did you waste it? Mm. You know, yeah, it's bad. You can carry yeah. on me. Good. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's important. Know your product, know your market okay. as well. Yes. It's, okay. It's very, um, yeah. We can go on that. Yes. I see that time is catching up. Well, can we just yes, jump see. something there? Mm-hmm. Um, that briefcase we talk about, guys, can we just rush through that one? Yes, because I think we your did. Canvassing tools, yeah. I think we did talk about it even. Um, the, and some of these things are not there. Let, let me, let me yeah. quickly say, look, 
Um, we, the physical preparation, if you have read, uh, I don't know if you guys read through the manual, like Yanni told yeah. us to read, ne? there's a portion of personality development mm. in, in one of the previous uh, um, studies, one of the previous studies. This is the last, the last part of the book, but prior, there's personality development and ethics. We need to go there, and I'm sure you've gone through that. The canvassing tools, it is important to, yes, look at the tools, but right now, things have changed a lot. Um, prospectus, like I said, you can find it on the, on the portal. We can talk about it later on. Contract number four. Con hey, number three is very important. Clean book samples. Mm. Mm. Clean book samples. Yeah, that's very important. Clean whatever. You need to be clean. Ne? When you go to number four, contract forms and receipts, we do not have those at mm. the moment from HHES and so forth. We, we don't have that. So um, we are using, that's why we must have our diaries so that we send people uh, an invoice or a quotation and so forth, the, the, the portal. You can actually do that. You've seen me doing it. It's a quick thing, and people appreciate that. If if you hear what I'm saying, because we don't, I don't know how else we do. We can do the, you know, like for you to actually give them something. That for me has been working. Okay, even the receipt for those of you with the yoko, you know how you can quickly do a receipt and so forth. It's something that you can do. Hmm. But if we don't have, it's fine. We can always buy a receipt book, can we not? Yeah. It, like BMI. work with something BMI. that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and it's not expensive. Work, use something that works. I was I was indicating here on, on professional looking pen. You know what I've said about pens, those of you that have gone with me. Let let it does she want to sleep again, maybe? Okay. So if you get a professional looking pen, you'll be ready to write like Umbram would say, click it so mm. that they see that you're ready now to take the order mm. and so forth. The point was be professional. Mm. And I think that's what it is. That referral cards and prospectors, uh, prospects information is what Mam Farai was talking about now. Try and find out about the family. So it's okay to ask. Mm. It's okay to ask information. If it is your, like if you're doing cold canvassing, ne? you can actually ask certain information for you to know what it is that you are dealing with or who it is that you're dealing with. So running through to, let me, maybe I can just, um, I'll use my notes in my book to be faster. Steps of a proper sales interview. Okay. There's, there's a whole lot uh, of stuff there that we can look at, but you know, it goes like steps that go into up into the door of a person. That's how I picture it. I've actually put steps on my on my book here. Um, attention. So the first one is attention. The next one is interest. Like they go into each other like that. We'll quickly right. explain. The attention is basically what you like what you do before you get to the person. Remember that we are being watched. Eh? When you walk, the way that you're walking, the way that you're getting to the, if you're walking in a sloppy way, then they'll think now, oh, there's another beggar. We can't do this. You know what I'm saying? You must walk briskly. I had a, a, a knee something at some point and I couldn't walk as fast as I would like to walk, but the Lord covers you. I'm telling you, the Lord covers you. Whether you are on crutches, I've experienced that before and so forth, the Lord covers you. Be genuine. Be like be positive, work with, because when you're not positive, it shows on your face. It actually shows on your face. When you knock on the door, that is something that we did now in LMS2. We can do a practical, I think maybe the next one that, yeah. we, that we're going to do and so forth. So that when the prospect is looking at you, they know, uh, okay, this person seems to be confident. They need, they seem to know what they're doing. So before you meet the prospect, walk briskly, uh, um, be confident and so forth. When you get to the, now this number B says proper approach. This is now when you meet the person at the door and so forth. It's important for you to um, use 
non methods or non ways and so forth you can come up with your own but this is something that has worked for people good morning mrs whatever if you've got the name okay i am pule from home health education service and you may have gotten information like in your case your neighbors you know them you've spoken to them you know i've i've developed a habit and i'm sure it is something that we can or pick up from you know the people around you you know oh you your little one what what great is she doing no he hasn't yet started people love talking about their children eh? and what's your name nana you talk to them you be friendly to them they'll see you with you one day this is now not for now and i'm not selling it i'm not selling anything to the person now it's forgetting the information then later on men there's something i need to come and show you eh uh, something that will work for little jenny and mm. so forth so you may not have information from somebody else but you can get it yourself from yeah. that person and so yeah and and obviously <laughs> i like this uh, um the way this ends my visit is in the interest of your children may i step in and explain and you immediately say thank you the moment they see that you 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 are actually being positive because you're saying to them you are allowing me to come in even without them saying yes come in mm. you pick up your bag and and you you know you step forward so that they see that you you mean business you are here many times they will let you in they'll actually let you in oh this must be important you know this must be an important whatever so saying thank you that's number 2 immediately after requesting to step inside even before the prospect responds and that indicates a positive expectation and confidence that the person will allow you in and and so yeah that is something that you need to practice it doesn't come naturally it's something that you need to practice okay bridging to the heart this is where we were saying um i've said i think you've heard me say don't say something that is not true okay if you see a picture in you you can look for something to commend in the house of somebody or in the office or something and they'll feel happy about it and and they'll tell you where they got it from maybe <laughs> they'll start showing you another one and so that's already like almost coming the person down and and you know making the person um happy and so forth be friendly be enthusiastic enthusiasm is contagious that's the bottom of page 63 Amen. okay to know your prospects together with the family members is what we're talking about we can't overemphasize it if we don't if it's a cold canvas and you don't know anything about them let them talk let them you know and and for me guys i'm not being funny or anything i've found that having an appointment with a person just gives you more chances of actually getting to know the person That's i'm not right. saying don't do cold canvas yeah. no go for it by all means you know i find if i go on a cold canvas i find myself making an appointment with the person so it just it almost like it just translates into an appointment man i can come and show you something and so forth do you have children how old are your children oh okay no that is nice i've got a what what you share something that you have in common <laughs> and and you genuinely say I, i've got teenagers in my house so it is easy for me to say man teenagers they're giving me gray hairs they they i don't know about you i don't know how you're experiencing it something that you have in common oh, oh like they will just feel yeah so it is important for us to that's bridging to the heart okay bridging to the mind uh, bridging to the heart okay know your prospect talk to the prospect about the interests if you see that there's a lot of pictures about flowers then you know that they do love flowers if they actually have plants in the you can comment them oh that's a beautiful plant where what you know whatever it is that you need to to say then the the next one is interest okay i talked about attention interest it's actually called ada that's in my mind you know that whole all the steps the steps that we're looking at okay there are four steps um that's the the like an acronym okay that uh, ada so you know it's the attention right at the beginning they approach and everything at the door and so forth and then the next one is the interest bridging to the mind you leading them from the attention that you have um created okay attention between you and them and so forth bridging to the mind now is now when you say men the things that are happening in this world you can mm. say something like that okay say something that's um 
the current uh, um, current happenings basically that's now bridging to their mind because now you're telling them men this and it doesn't have to be long mm. okay the things that are happening in this world statement of concern you can share your burden with honest and honesty and sincerity obviously um to help people cope with whatever it is that is happening because you need for them to know that you care if you talk about um the say for example the war how does it make you feel it makes me yo but for for me i i, I get overwhelmed just to hear maybe this thing will come here also it makes a person feel um maybe upset insecure. or agitated insecure and so mm-hmm. forth so you will hear you will quickly hear what they say and mm-hmm. you will then pick up on where they are because sometimes this happens um without knowing what they are going through and and so forth so that is something that is important mr johnson there's a growing concern among, among parents today regarding the influence of whatever society drug abuse television destructive literature and so forth so you will be able to say men parents are asking what can they do and you've heard me say guys the things that are happening and you hear people actually saying yes eh, you know when they come back from school there's this and that that is you've already bridged ne like so the bridging is to get them to to be on the same level as what is happening around and on the same level as you and so for current events we talked about that and um maybe startling facts you know your your a uh, mentioning how much percentage of young people have gotten young girls maybe have gotten pregnant and so forth if you're talking to a parent with teens maybe and so forth or something on on health um half the world today is suffering from i'm just giving an example something that is not even there so let us be up to date with what is happening around in as much as um google google is uncle google Yeah. There's things that are thrown on Google, thrown mm-hmm. on the internet. Some of them are not true. We yeah. know that. And that is why oh I remember now I actually wanted to say some people don't read yes, but you will be able to mm-hmm. convince them what is written in a book has been researched. Mm-hmm. What is on the internet not everything has been researched. Mm-hmm. So you'll be able to tell them it's it's much more you 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 can trust Uh, uh, the 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 professionals that have actually done um professionals in the area that have done a book and so forth you'll be able to say so however you can get statistics from there's there's places like statistics south africa and so forth of whatever you want to work at whether it is if if you have a passion with children so you'll be able to take up whatever is happening with children you know statistics mm-hmm. and so forth and and, and do that that creating uh we are now on page 65 okay i'm behind with my so creating need problem creating the need in brackets there's problem this is where you identify um it's almost like you you are creating a problem you you are creating in the mind of somebody uh, does she want the phone maybe she can use she just Okay. So so you are basically creating like a a a a problem and you have the 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 solution kind of if it's called creating the need most people are not even aware that there's a potential problem that they could be sitting within the house so when you when you mention certain things and yeah you know i've got teenagers and i've seen this thing happening and so you've already created that um thing they, 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 there's an ex- there's examples here um some of some things that you can do it's the responsibility of the le to identify and create the problem need in the mind of the prospect it is important and necessary that you are well arranged you have whether you use or you have and so forth some of these things prospectors newspaper clippings you can say i read in the paper the other day or i heard on the news the other day and so forth you don't have to use from 3 months ago there's too much that is happening now that you can actually say yesterday they were saying this in the paper did you see this article or whatever it is if you have a paper if you want to go with the paper and so forth also another is, way so yes, yes, yes. to create the need mm mm-hmm. is to ask a question mm mm-hmm. 
What is your biggest concern for your children today? Mm. Sure. I will tell you. Drugs. Mm. Porn. You know what is porn? Yes, pornography. You know that the government wants to now use porn for sexual um, education in the department. Mm. Mm. Sure. So that is something that is of concern, I think, to every parent. Yeah. And um, mentioning the fact that they, they, they start at, at preschool level. Amen. Mm. And, and that is something that you can't, like every parent will be concerned about that. And you know, if you tell people, that mm. is what Puri just told you, we must be on top of the news. Mm. Let me tell you guys, Every CEO of a business, mm. I think before he even reads the Bible, mm. and that's not right, they, they go through the morning news. Mm. The news and the business news. Mm. Because he must make decisions. Very important. Now, are we after we read our Bible, mm. We do that, go and get yourself on the news. Mm -hmm. See what is happening. Mm -hmm. See what the government wants to do. Mm -hmm. Look at business news. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come to people and you ask that question, you can tell them that you know they want to use porn for sexual education in schools. Mm -hmm. What's your feeling about that? Now, don't you think we need to train our children actually in the house mm. and not leaving everything for school anymore? Mm. And tell the parents, you must get involved. Yeah. But God didn't give a teacher the, mm. the children. He yes. gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to ask from you yes. what yes. is going to happen to that mm. child. You know, if you want to sell a very book, good book, mm. I know it's not a subscription, mm. but Adventist Home, mm. you put that book in the houses, people will phone you mm. and say, don't you have some more? Get quotes out of those books. Mm. Get yourself an Adventist Home. And share, and share both mm. presentations with that book. Guys, it will open doors for you. In families? Yeah. Because it's not just on um, parenting, Being it's on every, marriage, it's on It's on the family of the house. Mm. What must the house be? Mm. You know, it for some happen. children, a house is hell. Hell, that's mm. true. It must be a safe haven yeah, for them. Alan yeah. might use those words. Safe mm. haven. Mm for you to come, for the children to come there. Mm. My son is 53. He told me, the, no, Sunday. He says to me, you know, every time I'm coming to your house, I feel so relaxed. Mm. We had to babysit yesterday. Oh, okay. All right? Mm. By packing and by doing things, they moved to another house. Mm. And uh, we saw something. In, the, in that baby. Mm. He came, they dropped him there. The and, baby's uh, how old now? Uh, four months, the mm. baby. Already. Mm. That's a grandchild. Eh? Yeah. And we were sitting mm. and we were playing a bit, showing the dogs and he was laughing at the dogs. And mm. so uh, it was feeding time. My wife gave him his bottle and they told me, my son, and my daughter-in-law, the mother-in-law is looking after him during the week. Mm -hmm. And they say he battles to sleep. Who battles? The little one. Okay. Mm. So my wife says, okay, thanks for telling us. Mm. So we drank and he went, ah, 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 and my wife took him slowly mm. and sister him. And she was slowly and softly singing mm. Sabbath school songs mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend, four minutes, 
Gone. Gone. Yeah. He was passed out. I still got it on my phone. It's Afrikaans. Mm. He slept. Mm. He slept. Sure. From 20 past 12 till 4 o'clock. No. <laughs> till 4 o'clock. My son and then wow. they just come there about 5 to 4. Uh, when she talk, I said, no, shh, she's sleeping. Wow. She says, what? My daughter, no. Yeah, he slept. We gave him his smoke and he slept right through. Hmm. And when my son says, you know, when I come to your house, till today, it is calm, it's resting here, yeah, and that baby felt it. Wow. Yeah. And when she asked him, my wife, Mom, how did you get him fall asleep? Mm. She says to him, I see Sabbath school songs. Yes. But very softly. Mm. And he was listening. And he fell asleep. Mm. So, and do you know where did we get that idea? Mm. <laughs> At Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and um, fortunately, um, Nancy mm. gets ideas from... Also, oh, she took out the... So she did the research. It's, it's a, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's something that you can actually... Even for, for Adventists and so forth. It's just that... that no, let's not go there. So we're saying it is important yeah, to, pick up, <laughs> to pick up uh, um, something that is happening around we're bridging isn't we we are busy yeah. creating the need and so forth the things that are happening around and yani in your absence was just saying ask a question ask a question it leads a person to talk and i believe that when you are having a conversation it's much easier for a person to actually mm -hmm. open up much more than you are telling the person because selling mm -hmm. is not telling amen we've all heard that before selling is not you know, when you or, ask people, yes. I mm. said it in the Rassenberg group as well, mm -hmm. when you ask people's opinion, mm -hmm. how do they feel? Mm. If I ask your opinion or your opinion on something, you feel like I'm important. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because that is why I'm asking them. Why did Jesus ask the disciples? What do you say? Who mm. am I? Mm. 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 You see, he bring them to a point and they must make a decision. Mm. Now, if they come to this year and you ask the opinion, they feel important. Mm. Now you start going into a dialogue. Yes. But a short dialogue, not, mm. not very. Mm. And if you ask a question, ask open questions. Mm -hmm. So that they... They can't it's say open. no, yes or no. Mm. A question like uh, a open, uh, a close question is: Are you leaving today or tomorrow? What are you gonna answer me? Mm. And that's the end of the question. Mm. So mm -hmm. that is a close question. Mm. But if I'm thinking, if well, I'm gonna ask her an uh, open question, right? Tell me. Why do you think it's better to leave tomorrow and not today? Mm. Do you get that? Mm. Now she can't say to me, no. yes, yes or no, <laughs> mm. or just tomorrow. Now she explains. Mm. Now what is happening now? We're starting at? Yeah, no. mm. Are you, you get that? All right. Yeah. Carry on. Thank you. So, um, all right. Number C there, uh, I like that because health affects all of us, mm. whether you're with a Christian, with a Muslim, whatever. The increasing number of illnesses, excessive costs of medical treatments is something that we can't, like we can't overemphasize. Mm -hmm. It is a real, it's a fact. It is the, I mean, we're just coming out of Corona, not that we are even clear, we're not even. So 
let make people aware of um, what is happening so that they also start thinking about it. So he says these problem needs can be transformed into different categories of buying motives. So people buy for different reasons. Why people buy books? From fear and security. Like if you talk about the young children going into um, the use of drugs and so forth, even the example that you gave, wanting to the the, the schools now wanting to to use pornography as part of the sexual um, education in the schools, and the time that they introduce this is too too early, and unfortunately, even television has that, and you know it's a very sensitive topic to even talk about the, the thing of um, gayism and lesbianism and so oh, on. Oh, and that is, that is coming now to sure. the forefront, right? Eh? Because schools are having it as well. You no. can't, we, uh, I'm telling you, it's, I don't know if you, if you picked up, there were two ladies that came to pick up some child. They said they're both parents. In Rustenburg, there were two men that came to pick up a little girl mm -hmm. and they're both parents. It is, you know, my body just went and I got so like, your oh, Lord, forgive us. I mean, and the fact that it's a little girl that's going with male yeah. parents, you know, I thought, but don't people think about these things no. even? So these are things now, how do we, <laughs> without judging, because you're sitting in front of this person, you don't know what they believe, you don't know what they for me, what I do is take back to the word of God, especially if they have indicated that they believe in the word of God, because that's the common, the, the, what does the word, eh? The common denominator. Yes, the word of God <laughs> yeah. and, and so you forth. Know, so, to be a pity sure. is that that stuff is getting more and more in the Adventist church. Oh, yes, baby. <gasps> Thank you. I do. It's, it's, it's sad. It yeah. is sad. So yeah. we are disbelieving God, are we not? We, we had faith to God. Generally, in the old days, we called them Morphys. Mm. Remember? Mm. My brother? Mm. I see you also old school. Mm. We call them Morphys. Mm. And these two were in, in our church. We were sitting right in front of me, mm. holding hands. And I said to my wife, we can't allow this. Mm -mm. You know, we you can't chase them out of church, mm -hmm. but you can talk about their behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you, you you can't chase them out. Mm. Yeah, no. So uh, if they're not husband and wife, no, they were two movies. So they they were husband and wife. That's what I was coming to because he's talking about it. I heard you you talking about something that um, something that is common. It happens in churches, but not all of us believe like that. You know what I'm trying to say? But this is why I'm saying we believe differently. You need to be careful about what remember what we said earlier on. <laughs> you will chase people out. So let's 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 do this. Let's talk about this one. Bye bye so, bye two guys. Now, they were holding hands here in front of me. And uh, I said to my wife, I'm not chasing them out of the church, but that behavior is wrong. Mm -hmm. And after church went out, I told these two, I walked to the car and I said, I just want to speak to you, mm. if you don't mind. And uh, they said, yeah, yeah, what is it? I said, listen. It's your choice of life. Doesn't worry me, but it's what you do in church. That's not a good example. If you want to practice your relationship, do it that side, you are welcome to come to church. But you guys know what the Bible does. Mm. Because they are born at Vegas. <laughs> We are born at least. Mm. The father is, a, is a, 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 what do you call it, a professor. So uh, I said to sorry, that is not allowed. 
and uh, they excuse and they say sorry and all that. But when they got into next hour, they got there, I greet them. Mm. I just want to show there's no hatred. You're showing the love of God, basically. Yeah, mm. that's all. Uh, Six Sister months Leah? later, they packed. They went where? Netherlands, Holland. Mm. Because it's allowed in the churches. Mm. And you know, when they land there, they sent me a photo in church there, Adventists. Nothing wrong. I said to them, praise God. You know what's doing. It's a, it's a very, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sister Leah is asking here, can we encourage them to come to church? So I'm sure it's been answered, yeah, Sister Leah. <laughs> you can. You can't, you can't show them. Church is the only place, is the one place that they'll find salvation. So we can't stop them from coming to church. Yeah, but Yanni was saying it's the things that they do, it's an example, and, yeah. and so forth mm-hmm. that is important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are on page 65, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, you went to Abbeyburg Central. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Hello, hello welcome. Hello. So the, the session with um, children who are doing Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm thinking, sis? Sorry, sorry for the... Can, can we put the food here? On the on the first That's first table, yeah. mm, it's fine. M- Mommy, just move everything to to this side. <laughs> so, um, long story short, we um, can pick up the parents that they cannot get home, just from house and we can easily pick it up in time. Mm. But I was like, okay, so this is going to be happen because you know. And we, we went as far as the lady I asked her, uh, have you gone through child guidance and all of that? She goes, Yes, um, please and thank you. Magic words, like the, the world says it's magic words. Mm. So we busy discussing that how we and I said to her, you you change them around because Hannah raised her hand and she's like Magic is from the devil. Mm. I just said to her, Hannah asked me, she came home and she's like, Mommy, what's magic? Mm. Remember when Jesus was doing miracles here, there was miracles. Mm. Whatever the devil does, magic. It, yeah, it's, it, that's just from the devil. And so magic to Hannah is evil. Mm. It's, it's that straightforward. So she raised her hand. And then eventually the lady says to me, No, but we don't live in a vacuum. Because she was trying to say she feels some kind of way when the child says please and thank you. So immediately there, I picked up, so it's not the child, it's the mom. Mm. It has to be proof of the baby. But everyone and every other child, Hannah was there, she's seven. So we're going up to say, what, 18 years old. Mm. Boy, like mm. Everyone walked out of here with the idea of going with the baby. And I thought, how that in says you create heaven at home. So there's a vacuum making it happen. How do you, it's a bit difficult to, with Adventists, to, to bring a topic of, we have child guardians, we have Adventists from, we have, now we have Trinity Child. I didn't know that Trinity Child decided to help you. So, it's simply get offended when you send them back, because, yeah. And we can't run away from Ellen White's writings. Sister Leah, maybe you couldn't hear what Sister um, Kimball is saying. She was just saying at church, at the Adventist church, the way people react to what we have been taught through the spirit of prophecy is quite alarming. So 
I, I would think um, this is when, this is the opportunity that we have of creating awareness in the churches, whether it's for the spirit of prophecy or whatever it is, because the Adventist people, it depends on, <laughs> it depends on what they believe. Because, and, and when I say it depends on what they believe, we've been to a church where previously they were, they were fighting with her about some of our books and so forth. So when we then um, we did, as in um, like fighting in terms of ugh, this is not really important or whatever it is that they were saying, they were against the books. So we went, um, we went there, uh, a pastor did a, a, a sermon and we did summer school and in the afternoon then we we're talking about publishing work. Mm. The same people that were then are busy saying, but you, you hid an information from us. And they carry on about how, because now it is presented in a way of, you know that you need this material. This is the material that we're actually taking out to the world out there. It's been sitting with you in the church as Adventists. And so I think maybe they were feeling a bit guilty. I don't know. But point is, um, we, we have a lot of work to do in the church and outside the church. But to make them aware that this, this material has been there since forever is something that they need to hear. We can't, and we can't force them to believe what we, upset. yeah. So I don't know. Don't worry about getting people upset. You know, um, at my church, Panorama, mm -hmm. We had elder, and some of the elders, they've got teenagers now. Yes. They're playing soccer and rugby on the church. Grounds. Grounds on the Sabbath. Sure. So uh, we had a young pastor. Um, he's back to the Philippines. Philippines. Yes. I like that guy. And... Uh, he was doing a sermon one Sabbath on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. The sermon was on the Sabbath. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and uh, when we got out and we had lunch that Sabbath at, at church, mm. after a while, that pastor comes to me and he sits on my table mm. and he says, what is going on with these people? I and said, this is a young pastor. It's a young so pastor. It's a youth. I said to him, what do you mean, what is wrong with these people? He says to me, I was just now attacked by the head elder and some of the elders mm. with teenage children. I said, what did you say? Keep yourself always stupid. Mm, mm. He says, that's about my sermon. Mm. You know, those people come and they're asking, um, what, can, what must the children do? Mm. What is the children, what must the children do now on the Sabbath? Huh. So, Playing soccer was fine. Fine. So uh, that next Sabbath, they told me I'm on the pulpit. I'm on the pulpit. So I said to them, listen, according to last Sabbath, I think our pastor did a good sermon mm -hmm. and how we keep a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. I said to them, guys, I've got five tickets for the Springboks who's going to play against New Zealand here in South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, this Sabbath afternoon. You were on the pulpit now? No, I'm on the pulpit. <laughs> okay. I said, but I just made copies. You see, my wife, somebody at the work got for five tickets. Okay. And she told me, I said, make me five copies. Mm -hmm. And they've got a good copy of machine. Uh -huh. So she made, so I said, yes, the five tickets. Now I know the corporates. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, Elder so and so, I've got a ticket for you. Elder so and so, I've got a ticket for you. 
And my friend, I've got the ticket for you and that driver. Oh, and this one is mine. I'm not giving this one <laughs> up, but there's only one snack. If I'm finished with the sermon, mm. we must go to Pretoria to go and watch the match. Mm -hmm. They've got the audacity to stand up there. And they told me in a church, but we can't do that. I said, why not? I'm not going to play rugby. I'm going to look at the rugby. <laughs> I said, at our church, the children play the rugby on Sabbath. And you don't condemn that. And you want to condemn me to go and watch the rugby, not playing the rugby. Yeah. But it was quiet. They got the message. Mm. It out for seven months. Mm. Started again. Mm. And you know, when we ask ourselves, why is our children leaving the church? Yeah. We preach one thing. We do another. Or we encourage something else. Mm. So we, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. I just want to add on to you. We're mm. going to have problems in the church. And my sister... I even had people in another church that says Alan White written for her time, mm -hmm. not for our time mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, you must be ready yeah. with answers, people. The thing with spirit of prophecy, mm -hmm. it's your work. Mm -hmm. So I said the Old Testament was written for the old people. <laughs> so let's take that out and we just accept <laughs> the New Testament. In fact, and, and, and also the New Testament was... was I wanted to her. say, in yeah. fact, the whole Bible then, yeah. because, yeah. I mean... We must throw everything out. Yeah. I yeah. tell you. So People anyway, don't think. I tell you. Sister Leah is lost. I was trying to get her, but um, I'm sure she will She will try and join. She said she was having a challenge with the, the connection at some point, yes, yes. but it's being recorded, so they will... Pick up. All right. So um, the the reasons for for purchasing books, we were here on on page sixty five, and we know it's fear and security, pride. This is what I was talking about earlier. Parents feel proud that they will have professional children, and so yeah. we can actually encourage them in that way. The reading, Sister Kimberly was talking about reading. They they will want you know, to have good education, good books that will give them knowledge. That's the other thing. Then. So anyway, um, hey, moving on to desire. We said it steps, ne? attention, interest, and then desire. The desire to purchase uh, books. Yeah, it says there's two approaches here. Product presentation and also handling of objectives. Product presentation quickly, we, we spoke about how we are supposed to know our products. That is very important. Basically, that's what it's saying there. Identify B, identify the benefits of the facts. Ne? We've spoken about that. Explain benefits before you start selling the book, before you start closing. Okay. Character development, how they will develop the character of the children, how they will save on medical bills, how they will have good home, a good, healthy, happy home using the, oh, there she comes. Let me just admit her. All right. And also peace of mind because we, we talking the spiritual side of things and that gives us peace of mind, doesn't it? Yeah. That is something that is important. So you, you actually uh, um, helping them with that desire. Uh, um, to actually have the book, okay? If you give them these uh, benefits, then you give them the desire to have the book. Handling objectives, this is something that is very important. Objectives, yes, they occur at the door sometimes, especially now with COVID. So we have to find a way around um, handling objectives at the door and so forth. Do be that, that thing of um, being with people that we're talking about that is something that is very important make friends so that even if you have to go to their place 
they will not feel uncomfortable, Amen. isn't it? So that making friends is something that is very important. Um, I'm moving on to um, that, that handling objectives. I'm on page 66. Uh, I should go down to page 66 for Leah. Product presentation, we spoke about that, and then handling objectives. Now, objectives come during the sales presentation sometimes because maybe stop we right failed. Here. I should stop here. Okay. Really? No. Yes. Um. You nearly finished with the book. Yes, yes, nearly finished. I want us to mo- next Monday, it's our last Monday. Yes. That handling objections and closing with sale. Yes. Is where most of the ad is failing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So am, I, am I right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Sir, right? Mm-hmm. Now, are you guys willing that we take all the time on those two subjects? Next week. How do you feel? Peter? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. It's a Are you thing. happy with that? Yes. yes. Are you happy with that? Yes. Kimberly, if we do handling objections 66. and closing with sale, mm. but what you can do is finish your homework till that last time question here. That's 72. Now, because if you do that, I promise you, we're not going to sit like this. We're going to have a dialogue. Yes. You guys are going to come back with questions mm-hmm. and we're going to handle them. And we're going to give you, yeah, sitting, throwing in some objections mm-hmm. and we brainstorm mm-hmm. how we're going to handle them. Mm-hmm. And we must bring the uh, we must bring actual objections that we have made oh, experience. Yes, so yes. write them down. Mm-hmm. What do you get in the field? I've yeah. got no money. Is it really an objection? Or is it just a thing to get us out of the house? Mm-hmm. I want to train you. How do we really find out? Mm-hmm. If it's a true objection, you know, people will give, no, stop right there. I'm not going to talk to her now. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're going to discuss this whole thing. Okay. And I want you to, you must get that thing under the knee. Mm-hmm. If you got that winning, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a formula. What you're going to write down of handling an objection. Then you're going to come to the real problem, what people, why, and people don't maybe want to buy from you. Mm. Wow. Okay, deal. Yeah. Okay. Sharp. And then I will do for them that Bible story. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Mm. Bible story. He, he just has a way of, hey, you know. I yes, want to show you how to make Make example. Uh, how to make a? Oh, okay. So no, we can, listen, we we can finish, pray. You can make the rap. Then you no, can do it. <laughs> then all of us can look, isn't it? Yeah, but let's just, there's someone online. We're just going um, to pray the, with you. the prayer um, to end off. Um, Sister Leah, we, we are going to end off now. So we we're saying, I, I'm not sure if you were already in. We will have a whole thing of handling obje- objections in the next session. Okay, so go go through um, onto page. Where does the homework? Seventy-two. Page seventy-two. Yeah. Answer those questions and so forth. And next week you come with uh, an objection, maybe that you have reached, that you have experienced, so that we are actually taught how to handle objections. And and the rest of the um, the manual, we had said you go through ne? Mm-hmm. and answer the questions and so forth. If and you've got questions, so, yeah, we can handle that as well. Sure. So if there's any questions that came up from your reading, please by all means. I'm sure you've done this sanguine and temperament inventory. If you haven't done it, please, you still have another week to do it. Okay. All right. That is fine. Um, all right, Sister Leah has just sent a message. Let me just check. Okay, that is fine. She, she, she's heard what I said and so forth. All right, that's great. Thank you very much um, for attending.
And we thank God that you were able to come. Thank God for the training, for Yanni giving us the training and so forth, and for sharing your experiences, each one of you. May God bless you um, together with us. So we're just going to pray. Sister Leah, it would have been nice for you to have a meal with us. Next time, you will have a meal with us. Okay. Can I pray? Yes. All right. We, we're praying now. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne to thank you, to praise your name for what has been done in this day because you are a God who is ever present. Your word tells us you are always present with us. And so, Lord, we thank you that you are with us as we discussed your work, as we were getting training. And now, Lord, as we will be uh, leaving this training, we pray that you may encourage us. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And Lord, we know that sometimes the fear gets a hold of us and it, it makes us not to go and do this work. We pray that you may encourage us, oh God, because we trust in your word that says you never leave us nor forsake us. So we know that even as we go, you are with us in this work will be a success right from the start. That's what you have said. And we know your word is true. Come now with us in the rest of the week. And as we are about to partake of a meal, we pray that you bless it to our bodies. And Lord, we also ask that you be with those that are online. Bless them together with us as we part now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.